day. Not something I've ever had. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. There we go. There we go. Is oatmeal hot cereal? Is that the same thing? I don't think oatmeal is hot cereal, is it? That's oatmeal. They're different. Different. Porridge? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Now I'll get a good look. Okay. There we go. Um, I can't turn my arm, but yeah, you can. The detail is very, very good. Yeah, very, very, very good. So, I go in a month and I'll get it all finished. What if I turn around and show it that way? Yeah, I guess that's easier. Yeah, and there'll be a whole background and shit, you know what I mean? Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, there'll be a whole background. Uh... <laughs> Chat just wanted that butt. I know, I kind of wish I would have done more... The I kind of wish I would have done Zero Suit Samus, but I never played the game, so I felt like a bitch. Or not Zero Suit, not Zero Suit, sorry. Um, Zero Mission. The purple one? Uh, Ski J, thank you for 22 months. Happy 420 Eve. Wait, is tomorrow 420? Let's beat the game fast enough and the armor of my tattoo will blow off. Uh, do I have an ETA when I'll go to PO Box next? I don't know. Temporary tattoos or are they real? No, that's a real tattoo. <laughs> yeah, I'm all, I'm, I'm getting obnoxious and this is gonna have like all background and stuff like it's gonna flow in there and shit so you're going to red rocks after work i didn't realize yeah i didn't realize tomorrow was 420 i have a um like a kids carnival to go to um so actually tomorrow i'm gonna have a little bit later later stream just a slightly later stream, yeah. Something very important is heading my way. How VIP is it? Yeah, I just showed it off. It's not done yet. It's only half done. Does color ink degrade faster than black? Yo, Aim Frank, thank you for the sub. Um, is color ink... I, I, you gotta take care of it. Um, like, yeah, it's it's... Like, it looks the best the day after you, you know, like, right after I take off my bandage it or, like, the this stuff. Like, it'll look the best in, like, a week. Um, and then it'll settle in to basically where it is. And then, yeah, I mean, all, all tattoos fade. Like, there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, Mana Bird, thank you for 47 months. Uh, the thing I have going for me about my tattoos and fading is, one, uh, I'm already old, so, like, that's cool. You know, like, I I have, like... You know, most people get tattoos in their early 20s. I didn't get any tattoos till like, my late 30s. So, like, I got 20, 20 years on that. You know what I mean? So, I'll have that, I have that going for me, which is nice. And then, uh, B, uh, I'm massive with the sunscreen and the lotion. I'm an incredible moisturizer, chat. I don't know if you know, you know this about me, uh, but I am very big on making sure my skin is properly moisturized. I hate having dry hands so much i hate touching things with dry when my hands are dry like i hate it i hate it i hate it it gives me the heebie-jeebies like i feel like it's like even just thinking about like touching a piece of paper with super dry hands like makes me like freak out yeah oh my god it's just like it's crawling up my skin right now i hate it so much like like just talking about this right now and making me crawling over my skin is making me want to go put on lotion it's like it's feeling sad. Now I'm starting to, like, I'm giving myself anxiety. <laughs> this is weird. Is this a little spectrum-y? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. But it is, it's literally, right now, I'm literally, like, tensing up because of this. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I'm not, I don't like it now. 
Oh, I feel I I I feel like chalk, like someone's like scraping chalk, or uh, scraping their fingernails on chalk. Oh my god, it's making me. Oh. <laughs> Did my first tattoo mean something? Yeah, my very first one I got because my uh for my brother passing. That was my very first tattoo, and it was seventy five dollars. We got it like two days after my brother passed. And there's like three of us that have it, um, the same one. And I kind of hate it because we just went in there and we just picked like, because he was Catholic. My brother's Catholic and I'm not. And he, so we picked like this Catholic cross and put his initials in it. And the date he was born and the date he passed. And um, it's over my heart. And um, I love it, but I also hate it. Like, you know. It is sweet, but I love it, and I also hate it for, like, I just wish I had something way better for him, honestly, at this point. I guess I could get it covered up and fixed or, like, you know, do something like that. Um, but that was my first one, and then I got, the very next year, I got a Detroit D on my back, and then I started getting tattoos for, like, GDQ stuff. These were, like, GDQ-run tattoos. Um, actually, uh, this piece speed right here, which is... Oh, sorry, sorry. This peace speed right here, uh, which is one of my favorites. You know, uh, um, that was done by a viewer. Sorry, I didn't get that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you get the Detroit D because as a white person with uh from Detroit, you have to. It's on my that one's on my back shoulder, and that's the only one I hate. I hate that one. I would love to cover it up, but I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what to do with it. You know. Uh, no, I didn't watch any Champions League. Yeah. It fades because the body tries to remove it. It thinks it's bad. Luckily, my body kind of sucks it in pretty good. You know, my skin, like, really absorbs it pretty well, I got to admit. So, hopefully mine don't fade too bad over the next few years, but whatever. Um, there's, like, even there, like, right there, like, on my hand, like, I'm going to get that filled in a little bit, you know? Although I kind of like the way that looks, honestly. It doesn't, like, look bad. Um, but it'll that'll fade, like, faster. Yeah. How expensive is tattoo removal? Yeah, I wouldn't get it removed. Like, I, I definitely wouldn't get it removed, the one on my back. The one that I dislike. Like, and I, I don't dislike it. It's just lame. It, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... I'll, I'll show y'all. It's just a lame tattoo. Yeah. It's just lame. There's nothing like it's not, you know what I mean? It's just lame. It's not. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just lame. No, I haven't seen the new Lions uniforms. I just bought one. Not bad. It can double for your first initial. I hate that it's also my first initial. Do a tattoo of the poo stomp. I'm gonna be number one on wiki bag. No, it's a different side of the opposite side of my sleeve. Yeah, looks like the New York Times logo. It's an old. It's it. I mean, it is. It's an old English D. That's what it is. It's an old English D. You just entered, and I'm getting naked. I mean, if that if that ain't worth a sub, then I don't know what is, baby. Uh, that ain't worth the sub. And then, yeah, and then I have, um, T Noble Tofu did this one. And I want to put something, like, inside of it. Like, I want to color this whole arm. Like, I want this whole arm to be colored. And so I'm going to have to figure out something to do with that, you know? Um, so... Will I ever play Minecraft again? Yes, I will play Minecraft again. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I do. Uh, the idea of getting your whole back tattooed seems like a lot. It just seems like it would take forever. Yeah. Happy Friday. <laughs> 
Yeah, it just seems like it would take forever. Like, just this is... Like, just this bottom arm is taking forever, you know what I mean? You can't stand needles? Um, Sponsored. Yeah, I, I can't see my back tattoo. What am I playing today? I'm playing a brand new ROM hack made by Sweet Dude. Uh, what's the longest tattoo session? Uh, yesterday I did nine hours, actually. Nine hours. But we took... We took uh, a 15 minute, uh, it was like 25 minute lunch break, I'd say. So it was like more like eight and a half hours. Yeah. Um, nine's a lot. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Here, Here's the thing is, is uh, so I go to this guy, Dan McWilliams. He's amazing. Look him up on Instagram. Um, he's incredible. Um, but like, I am like, you know, I buy his day, right? I buy his day, and he he's usually like to him that's like six hours. You know what I mean? But he'll he goes longer for me. He's he's the fucking man. I really appreciate him. Um, and uh, you just buy his day, and then I'm just getting whatever I can get, like whatever he can do. You know what I mean? And because I have I have I have like you know five sessions, um, five sessions booked up with him, so it's not like you know, he's not rushed or anything. It's literally just like, let's make this look as amazing as we can. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I fell asleep during part of it yesterday. So I, I, this was, this was not bad. Yeah. Definitely thought I said I was by as day is, is the day bisexual. <laughs> No, uh, one time someone told me I sit like a bisexual, and that sits with, that sits with me forever. You know, the vibes. That's what you heard. Oh no, you you b u y b u y his day. Yeah, your whole family sits like bisexuals. I didn't know. I didn't know that. That was the first time I I realized that some there was <laughs> like an indication, and and the, and you know what. Fair. 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 Uh, yeah. I would say, though, that, like, if I if I could book him, like, if I could go, like, back-to-back -back days and stuff like that, I would totally do, like, I would do less hours because um, by the end of it, I'm in pain. And, I, like, yesterday I wasn't even in pain because of the, like, the scratching and the tattoo. I'm in pain because of my like the way I'm having to lay my arm straight and like sitting like that the whole, the whole time. Sweet dude, dude, I looked on SMW central. saw you made a hack. I looked at the, the get, oh, first of all, first of all, the fact that anyone posts screenshot when you can post motherfucking gifts to your SMW central, what the fucking fuck dick? No, but seriously, I would play anything you've made. You would make at this point. Um, I mean, I, I'll, I'll play your, your ROM hacks that are actually flash games. Um, uh, you haven't gotten one because you want something meaningful and you want to go to a Japanese hot spring. Um, yeah, you know what? I think, I think most people want something like their first tattoo. Usually they want something kind of meaningful. Um, I honestly don't care anymore. I just want stuff that looks cool. Yeah, for me, like I, I don't, I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm done with meaningful ones. I want just stuff that looks cool and stuff I like, stuff that makes me happy to look at. You know what I mean? Uh, why well, I, I, I have like I bring like water and Gatorades and you know a Red Bull and then snacks. I have snacks while I'm sitting there i have my nintendo switch i played balatro for like three hours yesterday i looked on tiktok for like f three hours uh by the way my entire tiktok right now all it all it is 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 thinking about me is that me espresso i woke up because i'm a singer that's all that's that's it that's it that's my entire that's it that's all i care that's all i care about that song. I think that's the first time that emote's been used, Julie. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I think that was the very first time that emote was used. Oh yeah, the prime when people convert their their prime to tier one, we have a we have an emote to celebrate that. Four years is I. Everyone remember to set out your blunt wraps and forties for Snoop tonight. Oh, because it's four twenty Eve. What up, Mickey Moose? One-handed Balatro? Well, yeah, it was like I was playing on my Switch one-handed. It was hard. It was kind of a pain in the ass. The Switch is not built to play one-handed. Um, so it got kind of uncomfortable at a certain point. I was trying to beat um, gold, gold stake with the random deck. And it's hard. It's very hard. Unless, and I was like... Unless I feel like you get like 20 aces in your deck or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys want video games? Should we play video games? Everyone cool with video games? Yeah, it's reset heavy. I haven't gotten like a really good run in a long time. And Balatro, honestly, it's been a, it's been a hot minute since I've gotten a, a goat run, and I keep whenever I get legendary hands lately, it's just like get rid of boss lanes. Yeah, the OT randomizer is almost done. We need to finish it, but I think I I think I got to go check the cows. Is what I need to do. Yeah, everyone's yes on video games, yes on video games, YouTube chat, yes on video games. Yes on getting B U yes. Oh bye. <laughs> I read it all, baby. I got several open games. Actually, I do have several open games. Actually, and I want to show you one else. I want I'm playing, so we got we got Jump King that I gotta finish. We've got that, and then I wanna start I almost started this. Oh, wait, can I play Hades? And then I want to play, um, where is the sip -a, the sip -a -piss game? Oh yeah, the game of Sipapis, the game of syphilis. And I want to play Hades too. Let me play Hades 2, Super Giant. Actually, you know what? I might know. I might know a way to do that. They sent out more invites to the Hades 2, Sisyphus. Yeah, the game of syphilis. Yes. You got into the tech test for Hades 2, but your PC is busted, so you can't play it yet. Could you shift shift it to me? <laughs> uh, you're in the airport. You got an hour until your flight leaves. Play something awesome for exactly an hour. What's Charlie Murder? Dude, if I had Hades 2, I would be playing Hades 2 right now. Yeah. Sifafis. Um, let's see, retro speed run hand cam right here. Uh, that is a, that is a, that's a crotch shot. I will admit that one, that one is a crotch shot right there, chat. <laughs> that's, that's a, it's a bit of a crotch shot. <laughs> That one was, that one was, uh, you know what, you know what, you don't have to sub for that one. Waiting for noobs, thank you for 27 months. You don't have to sub for that one, okay? That one, that one's for free. Yeah, I'll give that I'm one so away excited. for free. Raiden, thank you so much for it. <laughs> thank you for the sub anyway. Do, 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 do. Um, 2024 hacks. What what was it called? Up the ROM hack.
This is up the ROM hack by Sweet Dude. Uh, so for those who don't know, Sweet Dude's made a ton of amazing ROM hacks. He made things at SMC. He made the ROM hack that was a flash game last year. What was that? The most difficult ROM hack ever created? Uh, an incredible amount of creative shit. What was the last one you made, Sweet Dude? They've all been good. It's Mario. The world, oh, the world's hardest hack. That's what it was called. The world's hardest hack, the flash game hack. I loved that. I thought that was super fun. I had a really, really good time with that one. Yo, Devin, thank you for 101 months. All right, let's go. House up in the sky. Is there... No, these are just... What are we doing here? Oh, do I only get that after five exits? I think that's what it means by five exits, chat. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what it means by five exits. Looking up a barrel. Oh, okay. Okay, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is great. What in the Donkey Kong country is happening? I need to drop that shell there or kick it, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I can turn the volume up. Hold on. Let me turn the volume up just. That's like as loud as I can go with it. I don't know why it doesn't go louder. I don't know anything about Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Country music. Oh shit. Uh, already, already banger hack chat. This is already a banger fucking hack. <laughs> Oh, you can't hear me now? Good. That's what you get. You either, you know what? You can either hear me or you can hear the game, but you don't get both. That's that's just how it goes. God damn it. It's about what I said? Oh, that I don't, that I don't really know Donkey Kong Country. I'm not like a gigantic, it's been a long time since I played them, like, but I wouldn't say that like I'm a huge, huge Donkey Kong Country fan. Like I respect Donkey Kong Country, but I don't think it's anywhere near as good as Mario World. Oh, I need to, okay. I need to not hold run. What? What? I said what I said, okay? I'm, I'm a Donkey Kong hater. Okay, I might be going a little too fast. Damn it. That's all. I and it, that's not even being a hater. I just think Mario World's better. Yeah, that's all. What makes it bad for you? I didn't say it was bad. Yeah, 
You don't like it? Oh. How long have I hated Donkey Kong Country? You know what, since I was a baby? I was born, I came out of the womb, and I was like, fuck Donkey Kong. That was the first thing I said. Diddy Kong's a bitch. Donkey Kong's not even in the last two games. Why that pointless characters? Cute. That was a cute section. Oh, I thought I just, I thought I just killed myself. I did just kill myself. Shit. That's what I get for hating Donkey Kong. I should, I should have held down again. That was a good troll. That was a good self troll. Why didn't I jump up there? There are better games than Donkey Kong Country and Sonic. I, you know what? I don't know if there is a better platformer game than like, as far as the way the game controls still to this day than Mario World. And I know, I know I'm biased like in that I'm playing it right now, but I just, you have so much fucking control over your goddamn character and you can do so much dumb shit. Super Metroid controls better than Mario World? You don't mean that. You, you, Super Metroid's amazing. I love Super Metroid. I think Super Metroid might be the greatest video game. If you said that's the best video game ever, I would be like, that's a fair opinion. And I'm not gonna argue with you, sir. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the internet. But yeah, I mean, respectfully, Super Metroid doesn't even control as good as Dread. Come on, I can do this. It's far superior, Metroid is the better franchise. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying, you could think Super Metroid's a better game than Super Mario World. I'm not gonna argue that, but Super Metroid controls? I wouldn't say are that amazing like just the fact that the fact that you need a, a college course to learn how to wall jump i think is a bad thing you know plus i think dread just controls so much better than super metroid you know but yeah i mean you can think Metro super metroid's a better game i wouldn't argue that i probably i honestly i think super metroid's a better game than super mario world You minored in wall jumping? It was hard. Super Mario World, Super Metroid wall jumping is the natural way. I feel like I'm, I feel like this is the most innocent troll I've ever had in my life. Why did I start petting my hats? Cause everyone thought I looked like a douchebag. Uh, no, honestly, Red Bull stopped sending me straight flat bill hats mostly. This is the this is the cutest take I've ever had in my life. And I'm not even mad at it. Why can't I do this? Uh thank you for the $2 YouTube person. Uh I would love a Mario Metroidvania hack.
Yeah. Best NES game is Eek the Cat. What about Arrow the Acrobat? I mean, I feel like it's totally, like, it's not like there's not enough power-ups or anything to do it. It's just, like... Okay. Oh, <laughs> what is happening? It would just be, you know, like, there's limited amount of space. Ah! Love how we're not chat, but you two people? I mean, you're also chat. I just want to make sure you know I'm talking specifically to you. Uh, Mario Metroidvania called Mario's Exhibition. Exhibition on... When did it come out? Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to run there. Yeah, specifically to you. Um, the two... I would... Um, sweet dude, even more than that... I want the two things I want are a Super Mario Arcade like they have Super Metroid Arcade but with Kaizo levels random Kaizo levels or rooms even oh I see what I did wrong there uh, Kelly Martins, thank you. Uh, Kelly Martins, thank you so much for that subscription. You know, in college, I uh, dated a girl that was almost that exact same name. So, if it's you, I hope you're doing well. Um, what was I saying right there? I want Super Super Mario Arcade. Super Mario Kaizo Arcade, and then a roguelike. And it could literally be, you could literally, it could literally just be Spelunky, like the way it's set up. Um, you could have shops, random levels, you know, kind of blocks, different types of blocks and different rooms, different enemies, etc., etc. Ah! And then you buy power-ups, you get coins, all those things. Like, that's what I would like to play. I hate this. Could she confirm it? You wish Dread had Super Metroid wall jumping? Wall jumping in Dread sucks. CWJ and Dread is harder than in Dread. What are you even talking about, Cerno? I feel like we're being trolled here. Cerno, I mean, you know that if we took 100 people and asked them to do a wall jump in Metroid Dread or Super Metroid, it's going to be easier for them in Dread. Oh. oh, it's an AI troll. Continuous wall jumping? Well, why do you need to continuous wall jump? Maybe, maybe that game has other ways to get around. I haven't seen the lion's new uniforms yet. Literally haven't seen them. After I beat this level, we'll look at them. I'm annoyed because I just bought a jersey last year. Way to, way to like, screw all your fans who just supported you by getting an awesome jersey for an amazing season. Dicks. Uh, I've only seen the first three episodes of Fallout so far. Um, but I very much love it. I think I need to grab it and throw it is what I need to do. Yeah. 
I was trying to bounce off of it, and that's not what I want to do. What did I graduate with in college? Mm, define graduate. Yeah. When am I coming to San Antonio for speedrun sessions? Uh, I don't know. I gotta get. I gotta go somewhere in Texas at some point. Um. I dropped out of college my senior year. I have 18 credits left. One long semester. I'm so excited! Ah! I screwed that up. Uh, Celion. Wait, is that. Celio SNL? Are you on SNL? Uh, thank you for that sub. I really, really appreciate you. Do, 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 do. I would love to get an honorary degree for my school. Um, you have no idea how much it would mean to me to get an honorary degree for my school. Um, wait, for what? Why won't you turn sideways? I would absolutely like that'd be I'd be so stoked. Uh, the problem is I think I've missed that boat. You know, I think my I think my biggest opportunity was right during the pandemic. That's when I had my most clout. I see. I'm still listed on their alumnus on Wikipedia, yeah. Thank you, huge S Pie, for the uh, one single gift sub bomb emote and Julie. Uh, chat, could you also participate in that one single gift sub emote? <laughs> I need to like make a command for it. Uh, it's called Up the ROM Hack. This is called Up the ROM Hack. Or maybe I just need to ask. I need to do more call and response here. shooting champions uh bonus collect all five bananas to win Screw this. Shit. Yeah, this is awesome. This is fucking sick. This is a great ass level. Oh. Balls. One banana. Okay, I think I get it. We got two, boom. Two bananas. Three bananas. know what to do here chat
Oh, is that it? Okay. Four bananas. Five bananas. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm a banana master. I'm a fucking banana machine. What is happening now? Mario tripped on his shoelace. What the fuck is going on? And began to fall up. Up to the rooftop. Up over the town. Up past the treetops. Why are we getting so much lore? Up over the mountains. Up to where the colors blend into the sounds. But it got him so dizzy that when he looked around, he got sick to his stomach and he threw down. Uh, this hack is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 hack already. I don't care. 10 out of 10. Absolute 10 out of 10. What's going on, Jockas? Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. 10 out of 10. Not enough text. 10 out of 10. Not enough text, in my opinion. All right. Quick picker uppers. What if my name's in the credits? Or what if my name's not in the credits? Um, well then I, then I take it all back. Okay, I see what we gotta do. We gotta use momentum here. Okay. Did you see, there's a, somebody, there's a OT ROM hack. I want to play it, but they put, they put my name in the, in the credits. <laughs> so, so it'd get out 10 out of 10. I have to think that's the only reason they did it. Yeah. I have to think it's the only reason is, the, is, the, is that meme. Um, ZFG was playing, someone clipped it on ZFG's stream like a month ago. It was, it hadn't come out yet. Yeah, this is a really cool level. I like this right now. Uh, the name of this hack is called, uh, Up the Hack. The hacks that have come out lately, like the hacks that I've played on stream lately have all been really fucking good. Uh, the puzzle hack? Um, I forget what that one was called. The puzzle hack's gonna be a hell of an edit. Reverie, yeah. Oh my god! Uh, did I make a shorter? I don't know. I think my, uh, Boiling Penguin, thank you for 25 months. These jumps are insane. This is a good level. I like this level a lot. Ah. Ah. Uh, the last tack, yeah, we like it here. Um, that has, all those episodes are out. Bitch. 
This is a bitch. Um, I see. I needed to throw it in there. We're moving so fast, it's just hard to, like, see what you're doing. What's going on, Boofy? Yeah, I actually, I'm really excited to play the pushing a ball up a, uh, pushing a ball up a mountain game. Chat. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Bo, what's up? Are you going to ask me if I've done a lap on the, no, I haven't done a lap on the proper track yet. If that's what you were about to ask me. You think we should do a practice lobby with only rain? Um, that I 100% agree on. Yeah, that I 100% agree. Uh, tomorrow, maybe we just do Syphysis tomorrow because I have a late stream tomorrow. Ah, fuck me. We're talking about practice? Yeah, we're talking about practice, not a game. Uh, damn it. Can it rain? It, are we sure it can rain in this? I mean, I guess they would. I, if it can rain, I pretty much feel like if it's an endurance race where they can put rain in it, they're going to put rain in it at this point. You know? Like, that's kind of how I feel, at least for the next year. I racing, all the endurance races are going to have rain. And I'm not against that, you know? How can I read and respond to chat and perform things? Um, practice. Uh, it's not like chat's moving like a million miles a minute. All those lurkers are just sitting there. Uh, lurking. Now, if I ask them to come out and say something like, uh, hey, Pooh, how's it going? You know what I mean? Then chat would move a lot faster. And then I would have a harder time keeping up with it. Yeah, then I would then then it'd be worse. Exactly. See, like now how can I answer all these people? You know, this is a lot tougher. Oh! There's an on-off switch right there. There's a motherfucking on-off switch. It's the same question, so it should be easy. Uh, you know what, guys? Gals? It's going really well. Although it feels like someone just pu punched me in the arm a million times yesterday. Feels great. You don't want to know my name, just the name of the game? You don't know my streamer name. Uh, it looks really good. It's only, I think like, I'd say like a third done, but the background and stuff doesn't take that long. Like, he's starting to believe. This is a cool level. Bitch. Uh, I put I put a picture of it up on uh, the grams if you want to see what's done so far. My mom got my mom. I'm I'm almost. I'm I'm in my late thirties, <laughs> and my mom still gets mad <laughs> when I come home with tattoos. Uh, it's not, but I would say maybe our names came from similar places. His name and my name came from the same idea. Oh, up pipe. I jumped early. I jumped early. Yeah, it looks really good. The detail on it's incredible. The hive minds awaken. Yeah, you gotta, you, if you ask the lurkers, I don't ask a lot of my lurkers. I respect you lurkers, 
Maybe occasionally you, you give me your Twitch Prime. That's all. You Maybe you go on there if you have Amazon Prime and you haven't used your Twitch Prime in a while. And you go on there and you look right now and you're like, oh my god, I have to click three buttons to use Amazon Prime, to use my Twitch Prime now. Uh, but hey, it's open and then you use it, right? Especially now because it's the last month. This is the last month that we get full price Twitch Prime subs. Like after this month, I get a dollar twenty-five less on Twitch Prime subs. So, just follow, just pulled up my Insta. Oh yeah, up my follower count. The Insta and the TikTok are the ones are the ones that I have to get better. For reals? Yeah, I know it's fucked up, right? Why did I jump early? At what point are lurkers no longer lurkers? Um, they can be lurkers uh, at any point in time. They can shift in and out of lurk whenever they want. Now you need to find out how I got my name. Um, it's either the best story ever or the worst. Uh, $10,000 bounty on how I got my name. Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't even see those. I was too blind to see these, uh, those white spikes right there. I couldn't even see them. Ooh. Uh, Turbo Snail, thank you for the prime. The Retro Sofa, thank you for the prime. I feel like Retro Sofas are kind of like the hot thing right now. What's better for you, a 299 join on YouTube or Twitch Prime? Oh, uh, join on YouTube. Um, a, that you don't have to renew every month. And B, my editor gets some of that too. So, um, I mean, that's better in the grand scheme of things. No! Do I think Dan Clancy would agree? Dan Clancy is the one that's cutting the primes. Dan Clancy. Oh my god, why can I not go up that? I mean, I'd still rather have your prime than not have anything at all. Right? <laughs> Listen, tier one, tier one is a lot of commitment, okay? Okay, we just needed the double thing. Uh, a prime? A lot less commitment. Mario, what are you doing up here? I see you're trying to mess up my secret plans, aren't you? Well, you done goofed up this time, plumber boy. I'm gonna mess you up instead! And scene. And scene. Oh. 
Oh, okay, I need to, I need to, oh, you joined? Hey, th yeah, I appreciate, no, I really, really appreciate you, Jimmy. Thank you so much for that. Er thank you for, um, uh, the join. And thanks for my editor, he also appreciates it. Very handsy when talking. <laughs> That's also the spectrum. Yeah, this song's a banger. Too bad it's wasted on people like Failboat. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I'm keeping my, um... Oh! I'm keeping my, uh, beef alive. If anyone doesn't know, me and Failboat have beef. Um... It's, it's mad drama. Um... Feel free, you know, if you want to pick it up, news stations, you know, are mad drama. You still can't believe we did that? I can't believe he did that, you know? Sweet Dude's one of the most underrated ROM hackers of all time. Um, uh, Sweet Dude is one of the best out there, in my opinion. And probably one of the ones that's like the most creative and like does absolutely kind of silly stuff. Um, and I think the thing that I love most about all of Sweet Dude's hacks is his levels are always, they're, it's just like a lot of stupid fun and a lot of visual gorgeousness. God damn it, I want to get up there. Yeah, we have beef. Oh, I see they're wrong. I see what I did wrong. Have a good flight. CJ, Smant, or Fur? Like, which one? What am I picking? Okay, here we go. Oh, I just need to go straight up. I read YouTube chat. I read all, I read everything. I'm reading all the fucking chats. I'm reading 900 chats right now. Um, playing a video game, giving you crotch cam, producing, producing those amazing scene changes. Nah, I'm not streaming on TikTok. I probably should, but it's just like, eventually it just gets, I don't know, you're just doing too much. I'd rather, I'd rather stream on YouTube where people like, watch me. Uh, the name of this hack is Up The Hack. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd stream. I guess I would stream on both of them. Multitasker King. I mean, there's, you know, you just want to get, how? Why? Oh my God. I didn't even look at it. Put it away. Oh, balls. Mace, don't even look at it right now. I don't know. I don't know why we can't go one day. One, just one day. I want to just keep say one day. I don't get how it went from four to three so quickly. What game am I most proud of that I completed? Uh, I don't know. Probably 7.99 Splunky. Oh, can you guys hear Coco? She's having a snuggly day with my son because he's sick.
I made it. I made it. Uh, you ever give up, do you? You pesky one-upper. I'll beat you up myself. Stay away from the switch. Fuck you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Debit cube. Thank you for the five. <sighs> ah! Too much lore. No checkpoint? He did. He told me. Maybe I should have gone back through the pipe. Maybe it was one of those nifty ones. No, I haven't gotten to listen to Taylor's new album yet. Okay. You never give up, blah, blah, blah. Stay away from the P-switch. Ha-ha. And I yumped. Ooh, I like this song. I like this song. I'm the greatest yumper of all time. Can't tell the pole dancing bear is AI or real? What do you mean if it's AI or real? Like a real bear? It's a real bear pole dancing. What I did, see what I did is I took bears that were being used in wrestling matches. Bears that wrestle, right? I took those bears and then I rehabilitated them. And I taught them how to become strippers because I didn't want them being exploited. What streaming platform do I think has the best people? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I don't know. Whichever one has the people that you watch. Yeah. My wife just said, is he ever gonna finish Zooter? One of these days? Today, it, it'll be today and or tomorrow, okay? Do you know the problem, Mace? Is that Zooter, <laughs> Zooter doesn't, I gotta do something that gets the views first and then the Zooter, right? Can I scroll chat down in Steam Preview? No. Absolutely not. Nope. It's my wife you're mad at, not you. Hey, listen. Listen here, toots, okay? I'll get to it when I get to it, okay? <gasps> toots. <laughs> You meant in terms of viewers? I don't know. All right, here we go. All right, I think this one I'm always going. Uh, Geki, thank you for 28 months. Respectfully, toots. Uh, the tattoo doesn't, it, feel, it just feels my arms bruise. Um, I am just automatically jumping when I hit the ground here for the record chat. This is an automatic jump level. Okay, that's not what I want to do. No, I think it was an automatic yump. This one? This one is definitely... I'm definitely not yumping that. Oh, I see what I need to do there, actually. Um... Oh, I see, and then I need to go back in there. I'm not free from SMW King, no. I just wanted to play SMW first before I conned you all into watching that again. Thank you for the Balatro addiction. You're welcome. Oh, balls. Before I tortured myself? 
We're gonna beat this. We're gonna beat that. We're gonna beat Zooter. You guys are gonna be like, oh my god, we're 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 beating. <laughs> Oh my god, are we beating off today? That's what you guys are going to all say by the end of this stream. That that's what that's what it is. Uh, what stream platform is the best in terms of viewers? Um uh well Whichever one subs the most that day. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Yeah. Um, I've never, I've never even, like, in my entire streaming career, I've never uh, come close to making we're on YouTube what I do on Twitch. Tough today. Good old, we're having a beat off. That's in the YouTube video now. Me saying we're having a beat off is in the YouTube video now. Great. Great. Okay, I think I get it. Let's go. You're welcome. Uh, cool love. Thanks, Mr. Disagree for 66. Are we doing Meta Mario Calendar 2025? Maybe. Possibly. Okay, I see what we're doing. And then we would go straight up. Yeah, you gotta, to get rid of the back catalog, you gotta, you gotta kind of have one of those. I like this, uh, this looks very Mario Maker-ish with the rainbow coming out of the pipes. That's like something that happens in Mario Maker a lot. I gotta throw it earlier. Yeah, I really like this little, uh, move right here, too. I gotta hold left. Uh, thanks, X the third. Uh, thanks, Angelo's BOC. <laughs> All right, here we go. One throw. All right. I held too much left, that one. Oh, we're all of a sudden flying in and out of the level. That makes a lot of sense. Hey, that's the that's the real ice spice, okay? It's celebrity chat. Be nice. She's checking in before her Coachella set tomorrow. Hmm, what did I do wrong there? I did something wrong on that one. What's my favorite cocktail? A Greyhound. Simple. It's delicious. It's easy. Yeah. Uh, I don't drink anything with dark liquor. I don't really drink beer anymore. Beer makes me too... It dries me out too much. And we already established how I don't like to be dry. <laughs> We've already... We've already established that today.
Well, what do I do now, though? I'm confused. Wait, but uh, what do I do? Pipe below me? How do I get the pipe below me? You don't grab the vine though. You can't grab the vine. So when I hold up right here, like you don't grab the vine, it just turns you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I might know. Okay, hold on. I think I got an idea, chat. I think I got an idea. Okay, I think I got an idea. Um, I mean, I'll drink a white Russian if I'm at a screening of the Big Lebowski for some random reason. Okay, I got an idea. That's not what I wanted to do. Chat solved it. Well, that's the problem. I held up that first time. And that's what I did the first time. Bitch. Just coffee? I don't drink coffee, yeah. The I drink Red Bull for my caffeine. Um, I never drink coffee. I've never been a coffee drinker. I'm just, I don't know. Never appealed to me. Never liked it. What the fuck's a Greyhound? Uh, it's just vodka and grapefruit juice. What the fuck's a Greyhound? First of all, first of all, if you're saying what the fuck's a Greyhound, all right, you're obvious. You, you, you clearly don't know any drinks at all. You know, like rum and coke. That's like your extent of a drink knowledge, okay? So saying what the fuck's a Greyhound, all right? Calm down there, buddy. All right. Yeah, your your extensive a drink knowledge is whatever they served on your carnival cruise. Jaeger bombs. I like a good Paloma as well. What the what the fuck's a Paloma? These are common drinks. Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. I had it I had it right. What's up, Paloma? It's tequila and grapefruit juice. Uh yeah, I just I like grapefruit juice. There we go. H I missed it. Okay. This is a long ass level. <laughs> this is a this is a long fucking level. You think being the oldest chat on Twitch we'd know a little bit more? Can we yo, I I let's can we not advertise ourselves as that? <laughs> Thank you, Jazz Five for the gift sub to sweet dude. Uh fifty till we're at three K again and we can celebrate one more time. What's common in the U.S., maybe? A Greyhound? A Greyhound is common everywhere, I promise you. <laughs> it is not a crazy drink. If you have grapefruits in your land, I promise you they're drinking Greyhounds. If you've ever seen a grapefruit... Honestly, you've never heard of one? Yeah, I mean, that's fair. But you're not being like, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? Like it's some crazy drink, you know? It's two ingredients. You know what blows my mind, chat? How many people think Long Island iced teas are vodka and iced tea? I know a girl, I know a girl that was drinking fucking Long Island iced teas. And I was like, I was like, oh, you're an alcoholic. No, she said, no, I just like iced tea. And I was like, 
No. No, that's... There's, there's none in there. Like... Uh, thanks, Craig. They're damn good, though. Yeah, because alcohol's fun. <laughs> Responsibly. Yeah, if you can be responsibly. Sometimes it's not fun. It's just iced tea. Long Islands are good. If you're trying to get fucked up. Um, I'm a little confused at what I'm doing there. Yeah. If I see anyone drink more than one Long Island at a night, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I want to party with you all day. You're a fan of old fashions? I am too, but not the drink. They do magically sort of, oh yeah, they absolutely do magically sort of taste like tea. Oh yeah, one or one, if, one or two, you know what I mean? I think it's I think it's a really good like value drink too. Oh, okay. All right. The first drink you ever had was a Long Island iced tea? Oh, just throw you into the fire right there. It's a good value drink. Like cuz it it, it it I never feel like a place charges as much for a Long Island iced tea as you're getting. I do something wrong there? Oh, I get what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Your college bar, you can fill a 32 ounce cup with Long Island iced teas for 375. <sighs> Miss college. What's a zombie? Oh shit. What's the best emulator? Um, uh, I use a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, it's really hard to answer that question. Yeah, I've never had a zombie. Bar you went to would only serve one zombie a night? I got a buddy, I got a buddy, I love him, um, but his favorite, like, he's like a mind eraser guy, and it's like, bro, I can't hang with you, I just can't hang with you, yeah, I can't, I can't do this, yeah, I can't do this with you, you've gained a lot of weight since college, I haven't. Shit, I need that. Oh, what a cool ass level. How is it not done? How is this not done? What did I study in college? Uh, journalism. I wanted to write, um, specifically I wanted to uh, be a sports writer. Bourbon's the best thing America makes. Um, and don't forget we make crippling depression. This level's amazing. Uh, 
Um, I'm not a I'm not a uh, whiskey bourbon guy. Am I supposed to have a turtle there? What about Brandy? She's okay, but I was always a Monica fan myself. Irish car bombs? I, see, the problem with Irish car bombs is it's two things I don't like. I feel like that's reserved for March 17th only, you know? What, noob? Oh my god. Uh what's what's cultural insensi insensitivity? Irish car bombs? Uh yeah, you know what? Drink names like porno is uh exempt from some of the uh some of our things. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. They think drinking Irish car bombs on St. Patrick's Day is insensitive? Mm, I'm part Irish, so suck my ass. <laughs> I can do it. Yep, I'm all right. I own it. Fuck it. You know what? You know what? If Listen, listen. That's my line, all right? There, we, we just found my line, okay? <laughs> I think we just find my line of, of, okay, I'm done. I'm done with the internet. Yeah, that's too far for me, <laughs> respectfully. Yeah, the responsible alcoholism. <laughs> yeah. Yo, thank you for the t is that pounds or euros? I'm not old Culturally insensitive alcoholism <laughs> Um, My one of my favorite drinks is a drink called kill whitey What's up? You need me for two seconds? You need me to get up? No, what's up? Yeah, don't even worry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what did I do? I don't think I ate enough. No, no, it wasn't bad news. It wasn't bad news. Um, although it does happen. It does happen occasionally where I get bad news or something. The worst is when you just have like a bad, a bad morning from something that happened in the world. Then you have to get on and be like, hey, it's just none of your bit. No, it's not a big deal. It was not, it was not a, it was not a, a big one. That does happen. Occasionally, occasionally my wife does tell me something serious or bad news when I'm streaming 
Or I find out that one of my favorite celebrities died. Or, you know, an insurrection's happening. Yeah, those are all things that have happened on stream. Uh, you're not being nosy? <sighs> Personal stuff, gotta have some internet separation. At least you know where I was on January 6th, I was streaming. <laughs> But was it pre-recorded? <laughs> Damn it. Doing SMW speedruns from Nancy Pelosi's office. <laughs> Why, Sticky Mess, thank you for that sub. <laughs> She had a, you know, the good news is she's so old, she had a CRT in there, though. So it worked out. I'm so confused. What happened there? I'm so confused. It said you're a super player on the side? Damn it. The speedrun sessions DC went off the rails. Why'd you not eat that one? I think I'm supposed to eat all these and then I'll get a shell. Yeah, the puking rainbow pipes is a like, that's a really common thing in, in Mario Maker. Uh, I take them euros, baby. I'm gonna spend them as euros. I'm gonna save up my euros for when I go to Europe. Chad, I'm not going to Austria anymore. They uninvited me to the motherland. They uninvited me. How did I get uninvited from a country? No, I was going with I was going to Austria for the Red Bull or for the uh, the F1 race weekend when it's at Red Bull Ring, and they were like, "Oh, we got to reschedule. I'm sorry." And I was like, "Okay." Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I've never been to Europe, no. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Worth it. Did I die? Wait. Was I dead there? Do I even live, bro? Yeah, me and Arnold Schwarzenegger are gonna hang out. <laughs> Wait, if I beat the level, right? I beat the level. The level's beaten. What up, Dark Voice? The, le the level's beaten, right? Wow. 
Why does this look so good? Just a visual glitch if you end off screen. Oh my god, and then you press down. Whoops. Ignore that. And then you press down and you. Bra! Destroy everything. You gotta spin jump though. Ass fuck. Oh. 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 Oh, and then you. Okay, I see. <laughs> this is awesome. This thing looks better. Like, look at how smooth this animation looks, though. Like, the just the animation itself. Like, this almost sticks out for looking too smooth. I see, I need to go all three of them then. Uh, more vertical levels? That might be the gimmick of this whole hack. I just realized there might be a reason why it's called up. It could be. It could have something to do with that. But you know what? Vertical levels are better than horizontal levels. It's just a fact. Oh, fuck me in the ball dick. They, they are. Your average vertical level better than your average horizontal level. Which is another reason why I think a Mario World Spelunky could totally work. Fuck you. You know what we really need more upside down levels? I am gonna just push back on that one a little. I'm going to disagree with you there. I didn't realize that was going to happen. Yep. Didn't realize that was going to happen. You feel like Please Do Better just ended a lot of, has ended a lot of friendships? Not mine. Sometimes you just got to ask, ask your friends to do better, you know? Lunky's Mario, if Mario was good. You know what? They're both good games. Jesus. Jesus, hot take internet. So we're, we're not on that video. Oh, you fuck face.
I'm going to... Get up there. All right, we made it. We made it. H. I thought if I did the jump that I would... I feel like that, I still feel like that's what I was supposed to do. I don't even regret that. There's not enough levels out there that require you to go right to left. You shut your mouth, okay? We don't need levels that go right to left. Nobody said we need levels that go right to left. Oh. When are we getting the real part? What's the real part? No, right to left levels are ass. Milk and cookies, thank you so much. Diagonal levels? Um, listen, I don't know what type of demon, sorcery, witchery you're talking about. They can go vertical and horizontal, otherwise not possible. Uh, thanks, Easy AT. Ah, we were supposed to do that normal jump. What about up to down levels? Oh, see, I'm really into that. A level where you go up and then you go down. With the Wonder Seed mechanic? Low light and dark levels are my favorite. Oh yeah, I love those. Is that just falling with style? Yes, Buzz Lightyear it is. And it's awesome. Don't wanna do that. Mario Me Maker 3 better have circle levels. You're Mario Maker 3 just better exist. That's what I'll take for Mario Maker 3. It just, I just want it to exist. I feel like I could spin jump off that. I feel like I should be able to spin jump off that and you're a liar. I also feel like a star should allow me to stand on those spikes. Twice that I feel like you lied to me. More dark water levels? Oh yeah, that's what I want. Listen, some sometimes the problem with machine guns, Chad, is they're a little overkill. All right, and friendly fire happens. You gotta be careful. I mean, Mario Maker 3 would be dope if they put Mario Wonder stuff in there, but... I mean, who knows? Imagine if Rockstar had the rights to Mario instead of Nintendo. I mean, I don't know what that would do. Uh... 
Oh, I needed, and I needed to shoot. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that. Um, I think Rockstar and Nintendo make very I think I know what I need to do there. I think I know how to get that end. You have to hit the bottom one, then blow through the two top ones, then come back. I got this. Like that. Look at my big brain. Fuck me. <laughs> I just jumped into it and didn't do anything. I know. Unlucky. It was. It was. That was. That wasn't even my fault. That was Sweet Dude's fault. Ban him for 10 minutes. Um. Chat. So while I'm watching Fallout, all I think about is like. What level do you think she is? Right? I think about that often. Like, I'm only on the third... I've only watched the first three episodes. But I think that. Like, what level would she be where I'm at? Right? And I think about, like, if it's Fallout 1 or 2 rules, she'd be actually, like, be gaining a lot of... A lot of experience. Because you get a lot of experience for quests in Fallout 1 and 2. You know? Yeah. Um, Mario Brothers X? I haven't played that one. What is... Okay. All right, I got a neutral. They definitely don't care about Fallout 1 and 2, which bums me out. And then I gotta, I gotta hit down on that one. This is pretty hard. Most people seem to care about 3-4 or New Vegas. Well, that's because I would say, like, and th this isn't disrespectful, right? This is like, this is like when a band you really love, like, becomes big, you know? Fallout 1 and 2 were not massively, I mean, they were massively popular games, but they weren't massively popular for a long time. Like, Fallout... You know, there was a 10-year gap between Fallout 2 and Fallout 3. 10, 12-year gap, you know what I mean? And that was a whole different group of fans. 85% of the Fallout, like, fans now never played 1 or 2. You know what I mean? And that's not, there, that is no disrespect. That is absolutely no disrespect um, at all. Like, you know what I mean? It's not your fault. Like, either, maybe the games, maybe you didn't have a PC. Like, you know what I mean? There's a million reasons for that. Ooh. Fallout 3 was a franchise resurrection. It's a Bethesda game, you know, right after Skyrim. There's a there's a million reasons why it's more popular. Um I think I know what I want to do. Yeah. 
It's like only knowing Green Day for American Idiot. I would say more Green Day fans know American Idiot than know All By Myself, yes. Or not Skyrim, sorry. Wait, Fallout 3 was before Skyrim? Oblivion, sorry, Oblivion, the game after Oblivion. Oblivion. Did Fallout 4 get its update? But yeah, I um like I don't think that's bad. I wish I wish people would play the old Fallouts if they're Fallout fans. Like especially if they're like just Fallout lore fans cuz you would they they're so good. They're amazing. And the reason you love New Vegas is because New Vegas was made by Fallout 1 and 2. People, you know what I mean? First Fallout was actually Tactics. Nah, that's that's the gas leak year. Tactics is the gas leak game. We don't talk about tactics. Uh yeah, I think I think it's on I think one and two are on Steam for like seven bucks. They're really cheap. Um, even just play them, even just cheat, play them with a trainer, cheat the system, I don't care. But, story-wise, they're incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, they were on Humble Bundle this week. This is a cool one. You're not, you don't even play a Vault Dweller or anyone related to a Vault. You play a motherfucking Enclave Soldier in Tactics, right? Tactics just isn't fun. Appreciate the ball cam. Listen, if you're seeing crotch or testicles only, um, you owe sub. Bring that up. You were a Brotherhood of Steel soldier? Were you Brotherhood of Steel in that one? Honestly, the Brotherhood of Steel, the way they handle Brotherhood of Steel, I think is like the biggest, like the worst part of the deaths to Fallout. Yeah. Straight to horny jail? There's no horny jail. There's just, you know. Horny debt. <coughs> uh, I mean, I guess, I guess so. It's fair that like organizations can change I'm and stuff. I'm so excited. Yo, motherfucking dark voice, what are you gifting subs for? Get out of here. Yeah. Cool! <coughs> My god. You looked at the package? Oh! Oh my god. I'm dying. I'm dying. <clears throat> mm.
Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I really, I really appreciated. You get the amount of cool shit in the show that's like doesn't mean like is cool if you've never played the games. Like it's fine if you never played the games. Does good world building, but it's like there's a lot of stuff in the show that's like. <clears throat> oh shit, I'm dying. That feels like, you know, like a love letter to the games. Yeah, a lot of good fan service. Yeah, I hope they let Larian make a Fallout game. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, Fallout London's supposed to be a really big hack or a really big mod for Fallout 4. If they got Larian to make a Fallout game, I'm just putting it into the world to put it out. Like, maybe the powers that be will hear me. Uh, this is up the hack. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you, you got to put it out in the world. Maybe someone will hear you. Bada bing, bada boom. They'll be like, wow, that is a really good idea. You like Larian, but you don't know if Fallout would fit with their usual design. I want to fight you so hard right now. I, I literally want to fight you. I've never, I've never wanted to come through a screen and fight someone more ever. Do you know, do you know what the makers of Fallout 1 and 2 also made? Do you? Do you? Not three, not three. You know what came from Black Isle? Uh, Black Isle, who made, who made Fallout 1, also made this other game called Boulder's Gate and Boulder's Gate 2. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like, I feel like Larian, who made Boulder's Gate 3, could handle fallout. <laughs> You're not getting my point? What? what? I mean, they did D&D &D style settings. Are you just saying that you don't think because they normally build with dragons, they wouldn't be able to build with Deathclaws? 
Yo, I mean, respectfully. I think the gameplay fits, you know what I mean? Respectfully, I, I, I don't think there's, there's much difference. You know, you make a story. And Baldur's Gate 3 does have aliens. Does it not have mutants? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where you're getting at, yeah. Yeah, Larry, I feel like Larian is actually the perfect company. I feel like they're, like, to me, they're the only option to continue Fallout. Like, I don't want, I don't want Fallout to be, like, and I know I'm alone in this because most people, you know, it's Fallout 3 and New Vegas for them, you know what I mean? Because, again, like, that's going to, that's 85% of people, you know what I mean? Most people didn't play Fallout 1 and 2, and that's totally fine. But I feel like Larian's like the team that that's my dream, you know, that making a Fallout game would be the spot. I mean, that's like saying the Final Fantasy team couldn't make a Final Fantasy 7 game because of the setting. Ah! Oh, there's one more. Yeah, what if they made an SMW ROM hack? You played Fallout 1 and it hasn't aged well? Um, Fallout 1 needs like a quality of life mod. You know what I mean? Like I think a lot of things in Fallout 1 and 2 age amazingly except for just like the things that are just better in RPGs now. You know what I mean? Uh, why did that not work? Up, up, up. The kite can go up, up, up. The Koopa can go up, up, up. The Pea Balloon can go up, up, up. The Mario can go up, up, up. And away. Um, yeah, New Vegas was made by a lot of people that worked on Fallout 1 and 2. And that's why the story's so much better. That was a cool-ass level. Let's win his sweet dude, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Motherfucking Dr. Seuss over here. Why am I looking up? Okay. Okay, we got it. We're always looking up. We're always holding the up button. So we have to Not, not go indoors or pipes. Yeah, this is this is only up. Fuck. It is not pick a door. No. Okay, I think I see what I need. How I handle that one. No. Yeah, it's don't pick a door. It's pick no doors. <laughs> That's a one big ass door. <laughs> I hate this level. <laughs> no.
Mm. Yeah, this is this is a dumb out. This is a dumbass level. What's my opinion on Tinder? I've never used it, so I have no opinion. How do I get? How do I make this work? Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any opinion. Strength in numbers. Meet people. It's a good idea. This is an awesome level if you're not playing it. It's melting my brain. This is one of those levels that I have to think before I do anything. Yeah, I know. I've been I've been married too long for that. I I have no idea what dating would look like at all. I'm so excited. I don't even know how to make friends. Uh, DJ, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate you. We're climbing our way back, chat. Climbing our way back, damn it. Uh. Wait. Wait. Oh no. Yeah, it's not done yet. It's only half done. Dude, that was seven hours. Eight hours yesterday. Eight and a half hours yesterday I was getting tattooed. Fuck. This is hard. Yeah, I know. It's so good. Yeah, it's, it's so good. It has so much detail. Uh, I'm getting a Samus Aaron. This level's hurting your brain. It's hurting my ego. Yeah, dude, I'm not excited about the, like, forced parental interaction. Shit. Yeah, I'm not excited about the forced parental interaction stuff. Am I also also I'll just be real like I hate meeting I a lot of times I hate meeting people because as soon as they find out what I do that's all they want to talk about and then they want to tell me about how they've wanted to start a podcast or a that's the never that's always what's the next thing they wanted to start a podcast or a stream or a blah 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 or a da 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 or how they could have been this or that you know what I mean Yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be like, I just want to talk about like sports or pro wrestling. Yeah, car racing. Yeah, oh, my son wants to do that. Oh, my niece wants to do that. Or my blah, blah, blah wants to do that, you know? My oldest one wants to do that. I wish they just asked me for Red Bull. If I had someone that was like, oh yeah, can you hook up free Red Bull? And that was like the extent of it, or they were more impressed by the Red Bull thing, the Red Bull part. Oh yeah, that would be, that would actually be okay. <laughs> oh. AJ Yeah, that wouldn't bother me as much Do I think people who are Olympic wrestlers are bitter towards the moniker pro wrestling? I mean, I think a lot of them go into pro wrestling or MMA. You know what I mean? One of the two, so... Not really, no. I mean, Kurt Angle might have won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck, but I mean... He also broke his freaking neck in pro wrestling too, so... Why did I jump right there? 
I'm a pro gamer, not an Olympic gamer. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's the worst thing you've ever seen? Oh, I'm sure, yeah. You know what, though? They don't want you to start their first responder career, whereas then inevitably they're like... I don't know. That's. I feel like that's what I become to a lot of people, you know? Like, in the real world now. It makes it really hard to have... Um, to have real... relationships new ones at least uh, I was like why can't I throw the fucking shell should be friends with other streamers? Yeah, but there's no other streamers in my town that I know. I'm sure there's all, there might be. Well, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I live in a small, rinky-dink, redneck town. A and B, that's not the problem. The problem is that I'm going to be forced to hang out with people because my kid, you know? That's what we were talking about. Yeah. I don't know how anyone meets anyone, is what I'm saying. This all got started because as someone asked me about Tinder, and I was like, I have no idea how anyone meets anybody or does anything nowadays. I'm not in that world. All right, I did the right thing. Did I get it? I can't tell who won. I can't tell who won at all. I guess we'll find out here. No! Ah, uh, get racked. Get racked. It's not that, I don't know, it's just... No, I wanted to go, I screwed up. Tried Tinder once and got an only ad fan. Well, I think the, I think a big problem with the internet in general right now is it doesn't matter where you go, you're getting a lot of interaction with bots. You know, uh, a lot of interaction with bots and and it's exploded over the last year with like, you know, these AI chat bots and stuff, you know? It's just getting... more and more and more. Wait, how do I, how do, how do I stop that? <laughs> Elon killed all the bots. Don't get me started on that. All the fuckers like, I'm gonna beat all the bots. Then you got people, he's gonna buy it. He'll get rid of all the bots. And now any good tweet I have, the right on the, the very first reply before the tweets even started, it's like pussy in bio. Never is, it never is, it never is. Uh, yeah, if I didn't feel like I had to use it, I'm, I feel like I'm stuck on it, you know? Like, I feel like...
I mean, I feel like that's what anyone that's on it still, like, they feel stuck on it more than... Like it's actually providing anything useful at the moment. No, you fuck. The holding up, always holding up gimmick. This is a good gimmick, actually. It's kind of funny how good this level is with such a very simple fucking gimmick. That's the, that's the gimmick. Yeah, he's, I'm stuck. The up button's stuck. Oh, come on. 90% of the internet is just bots trying to take advantage of... It is, man. That is a lot of the internet right now. Oh, balls. Not this part of the internet, though. Yeah. I was gonna say Twitch is kind of Twitch is still lucky because there's not like a way to monetize from being a bot on Twitch. Like a viewer bot. Like a streamer could buy viewer bots, right? And I guess they could do that. Damn it! But those are useless? Yeah, I've never really understood what you can actually gain off those. Um, because you're not going to be able to get subs, you know what I mean? I never really understood what would, what was the benefit of those, like myself. I see. Get to the top of the category? I mean, sure, but like, you're... I don't know. I just don't think it works. Instagram click farms? I mean, I, I, I guess I don't know. Yeah, I don't know a streamer that's like, yeah, I don't know a streamer that's like, you know, I don't know. I just said I've never heard of like that being a successful way to do it. Yeah, I, don't, I think the only thing it benefits is like your ego. Yeah. Seen a streamer recently done an, did an Amazon product thing, and you were like, "Congratulations, they're QVC." Oh, it's, it's, don't make it. Listen, don't make it awkward here. All right. I have a Red Bull hat on. Like, we're not. Don't make it awkward. <laughs> don't make it awkward for us. Oh. Uh... Shit. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, but it's like, okay, my thought process is though, it doesn't, none of that matters. Like getting affiliate doesn't matter if you don't have anyone to watch your stream and sub to you. Like, none of it matters if you don't have people to sub to you. Like, there's no amount of status. Because, like, it, none of Twitch status matters. Oh. I mean, but I get, here's the thing. I also understand that, like, no matter what, people are going to try and, like, make it easier. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what it is, like, there's always going to be people that want to beat the system, try and make it easier, like, blah, blah, blah. No matter what system it is you're, damn it, you're talking about, you know? It helps with ads for a company? Ah, uh, man, I feel like they know. I feel like they know. Mm, I don't know. I feel like they know. Yeah, I feel like they know. They got they got more information. Listen. Listen, chat. These companies don't they don't target me because of me. They target me because of you. You know, that makes sense. Oh, that was cute. Yeah, specifically you. We have come a long way. I'll protect you, I do my best. Not many have made it here. Now that there are no obstacles in your way. The only thing left is to go up. I'm not touching any button right now, by the way. I'm not holding the up button. I do my best. Listen. Listen, I accidentally took one scam game um, sponsorship one time, and we bailed out of it real quick. All right, as soon as as soon as we realized what it was, we bailed out of it, and I got in trouble for that chat. I had to, I got in trouble. In trouble. <laughs> Which game? Don't matter. Don't matter. We didn't. We never ended up playing it. No, it wasn't by Red Bull. It wasn't by Red Bull. Red Bull would never. Red Bull never asked me to do anything I don't want to do. Red Bull never asked me to do anything I don't want to do. And Red Bull also doesn't get mad at me if I bail out on something because it's not for me. They trust that I know what I'm doing with my stuff, right? Yes. No, no, no legal action. They just were, I got, I, I got scolded. I got scolded. Flappy Vertical Mario. Uh, thanks James Lloyd. Uh, my kid is obsessed with, I mean, we're obsessed with Sabrina Carpenter's new song right now. <laughs> For bailing on it, yeah. Nowhere near the doctor disrespect stuff. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means. No, no. I, I, I would never have that. I would never have that. No, I. Much more like, much more likely for me to get. Would be the opposite of that, where like the streamers. spouse does it and then they make them put it on Twitter in a weird video 
Yes. Uh, makes you sad how out of touch. Um, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing with streaming, guys. It's really easy to get locked up into our own worlds, right? And um, you're, I'm very like in my own world, right? Like, you know, I have you all, and you know, I get, you know, six, seven hundred viewers, whatever, nine hundred viewers. You know what I mean? I have my own community. You guys are with me every day. We get locked up in our own world. Blah blah blah. You know, um, I think that's really easy. If you had 10,000, 5,000, 10,000 viewers, I think it's even easier to just get kind of like in your own world, in your own bubble, in your own little grip of things and then forget like, like as much as it's, it's, it's easy as it is to get like bubbled on the internet in general, I think it's even easier when you are a streamer like this, you know what I mean? Like you're in that aspect, specifically streaming. Yeah. Yeah. I think it makes it bubble. That bubble is real. Yeah. I'm going to pee real quick. We're going to come back and we're going to finish this hack. I'm saying I'm in my own Mario world. Uh, watch the same movie. We've watched them over and over and over. And then everyone at we skill to make us more. All right, right here. Um, when I press the R button, I'm going to put it pull a shell out of. I don't know where he's pulling it out of. And the L button is going to switch that. So just keep that in mind that my L and R buttons are doing completely opposite things here. Yeah, uh, spawning a shell in your hands is a gimmick popularized by Glitch Cat in Thumb Shredder. And this level's a lot harder <laughs> than he made it look. Excellent. Uh, so for, for this one, you lose the gimmick of being able to spawn a shell, but now it's motor skills. So same as before, you can change your jump type in midair. And I love just shredding through those shells to get the distance. Ooh. Making it look easy. Yep. All right. So, fun fact about this original section, in the original 1.0 release, uh, this last room actually had all three gimmicks at once. It was, yeah, I bet it was hard. It was very hard, and very hard in the hands. So, GDQ, at the end of this level, there's gonna be bright coins spelling out Baron of Shell. I want you guys to just yell at the top of your lungs, Baron of Shell, like Wheel of Fortune. Baron of Shell. <laughs> what, what an old man reference. <laughs> All right, here it comes. We, this is the calm before the storm. You guys have seen how crazy this game is right here. Um, this final boss is the Baron of Shell. It's a very, very hard boss. It, it's just it, the whole thing's ridiculous. Uh, so mean. Just, I mean, just to show you, he gives me a power up beforehand. Can I get some hype in here? Twitch chat. If I one shot this, I want y'all just just one dollar, just one dollar to the charity. If I one shot, that's fair. That's all that's I'm fair. asking for all of you out there. Just one dollar. That's it. If I one shot this, this is a as a wild boss. Can we get some hype? And, can we get some hype on that? <laughs> all right, all right, let's do it. I gotta get game room. Sorry. <laughs> oh God. face and the rage face. Those are definitely two, two favorites.
espresso. <sighs> did Pooh leave the ROM hack music going? Shut up, did I? Fuck. I'm sorry. No, where are we? There we are. God damn it, chat, I'm sorry. I know, I know, bad streamer. So much going on. YouTube, are you okay? What is going on in this level? What is going on in this level? Oh. Okay, cool. This song's bitchin'. What is this from? Whoa, okay, oh, okay. I can run on any wall, not just these walls. Okay, new plan. And that's not what I wanted to do. That plan didn't work. I wanna try and jump all the way past that. This is an original, not your original. Wait, this is a ROM hack only song? Gross. Who wants to play, who wants a ROM hack only song? Chat, what are you doing this weekend? Tell me your weekend plans right now. Does anyone have anything exciting going on? What did I do? Watching my stream? Wait, I'm streaming this weekend? 420s tomorrow, so that? I'll be streaming for that. I'll be streaming for West Coast. 420. Lawn care, it's a big deal. Having a normal sleep schedule, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that one. You're cute lying to yourself. Arguing with streamers about NFL draft picks, that's next weekend. I'm actually, I got invited to Go. This is really awkward. I got invited to go to the Raiders draft party. Me and E-Rob are going to the... E-Rob, a Cowboys fan. Me, a Lions fan, are going to the Raiders draft party. You're going to a Ren Fair? And a Sum 40... I thought Sum 41 broke up. How did I end up in this situation? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Twi Twitch, uh, Twitch has a thing with the Raiders in their stadium. They have like a, like a spot in their stadium. So they have like a deal with them, right? So I'm sure they got a couple passes and then they were like, you can go, do you want to bring anyone? And I was like, I, I don't know who I would bring. And then they were like, well, E-Rob wants to go. You guys, are you cool sharing a room? You guys cool sharing a room? And I was like, if he's cool with it, I'm cool with it. Oh, that was bullshit. Yeah. Had your second date yesterday? 
Oh, you know what happens on the third. That seems really fast now that I think about it. Now that I just said that. A Liam hater? I don't know what that means, dude. Yeah. I, I, I don't know that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that. Liam SM64. I, again, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not up on random internet hate. Internet drums. Yeah. Light dinner on the third day. He's only the streamer choice award winner. Listen, Shattered Ghosts, I, I maybe maybe I'm just not I'm just not maybe I'm just not plugged in like you. Well, I don't know what that is. Luckily for us, they probably don't know who I am either, though. You know what I mean? There's just so many people. Yeah, they probably don't know who I am either. Yeah. Degen hours? Oh, yeah, I can't I can't help you on Degen hour streamers at all. Yeah, I'm not a Degen I'm not a Degen hour person. I'm a sleep at a normal time human. You know this is weird, but me talking about getting the snip snip helped you. Um, you know what? Not weird at all. I'm so excited. We're just two grown men. We're just two grown strangers talking about our dicks. <laughs> Crimson Fox, thank you for the two, the two big stuff. Nuggets are beating the Lakers right now. Oh no, they don't play till this weekend. DJ mm. Blair, thank you for 19 months. We got to be close. We gotta be close to being back. I think the Nuggets are gonna destroy the Lakers. Yeah, I think they're gonna sweep them. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I mean, it, that's no hate on the. That's no hate on LeBron. No hate on Anthony Davis or anything. But uh, D'Angelo Russell fucking sucks. <laughs> and Jokic is. Jokic is like, Jokic might end up being better than, Jokic might be the best player that's ever played basketball. I'm not even joking about that. The best player that's ever played basketball not named Victor Wimbanyama. Chat, is it weird that I think it's a it's almost safer to buy like Victor Webamyama rookie card. Like that's like I feel like that's like the safest investment you could make in your life right now. You don't think I'm joking? Better than Michael Jordan? Um I think I think I think Michael. I think we need to go back and discuss Michael Jordan in an internet era where we watch 82 of his games together on the internet. The great Michael Jordan rewatch. 
You don't think I'm joking that I'm just wrong? What, that Jokic might be the best player that's ever lived? I don't know, man. His efficiency is wild. Is this to say MJ's mid? No, I think MJ is the greatest player of all time. But I think I also think he's bene he benefits greatly from not playing in the Twitter era. And the if you think people hate on LeBron now and call him soft, the amount of people that would have said Michael Jordan was soft would have been insane. And I also think everyone just completely discounts all the times that Michael Jordan like lost in the playoffs. Like everyone just acts like these times didn't happen. Like when he got swept by Boston, like people just don't even act like it. Or when the Pistons just got rid of him year after year after year. People just, just don't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't think his, I don't think he's, I don't think he gets, his career never got the scrutiny that even like Kobe Bryant's did. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't think any second banana has gotten less credit for being amazing than Scottie Pippen as well, I would say. Did anyone six straight titles? No, he didn't. He did not win six straight titles. See, that's part of it. This is all part of it. Michael Jordan did not win six straight titles. He retired for a year and a half, came back, and Shaq and Penny Hardaway beat him in a fucking seven game series. Yeah, Houston won two titles. But we don't, we don't count, but like we don't count the, the year that the Magic beat him. You know what I mean? That's like another part of it. Like, because he retired. Why? Why do we not count that? No. No. Yeah. And I think, I think the NBA was a lot less competitive in the 90s than it is today. Today, each team has a fucking bona fide superstar, you know? Yeah. You base all your stats off NBA Jam, which fair. No, I, I, here's my argument. I think Michael Jordan's the greatest player of all time. But if you think Michael Jordan's the greatest player, or LeBron James the greatest player of all time, I don't think you're wrong. I think that you have as much, you have as much evidence to stand on as, as anything else. Yeah. That's all. You base all your stats off NBA Jam. Yeah, Michael Jordan was never in NBA Jam. Nothing like having four extra years. What does that have to do with anything? I think I think the idea that like longevity doesn't matter is kind of insane too. Yeah, I think that's that's like to say that longevity doesn't matter is crazy at what point at what point does at what point does longevity not matter at what point does it matter it has to matter some it has to matter some Don Kong's pretty good yeah I'm really hot thank you take away four years blah of LeBron and he's still behind Jordan and what? No, he's not <laughs> behind in what? <laughs> Zuri, yeah, I think I think that's the more accurate take is that they're actually just both really different players and really great. Yeah, that's probably the accurate take. But I I will tell you right now, the biggest myth anyone ever says, the biggest myth anyone will ever tell you is that Michael Jordan would average, Michael Jordan would be like head and shoulders above this, this crop of basketball players. Like if you could somehow warp 1990s Michael Jordan to now, like he would like dominate or something like that. He wouldn't. Now a lot of that is because these basketball players got to watch Michael Jordan, but like, dude, they're so much bigger now.
Yeah. Yeah. Your son was born Wednesday? Yo, let's go. Mm, Bill Clinton was good in NBA Jam, but I always, I always, uh, pretty partial to, uh, Parliament Funkadelic. George Clinton was always my go-to in NBA Jam. Jump, you piece of balls. People forget MJ is one of the greatest defenders. LeBron James is one of the greatest defenders of his time. What are we talking about? And you know what? I'm. That's the thing. That's the thing. Okay. <sighs> There's been a lot of things that have come out about stat keeping in the 80s and 90s and the difference in home and away stats in the 80s and 90s and the way they padded stats. And someone who got a lot of padded stats, if you just look at it, Michael Jordan had three times as many steals at home as he did away. How is that possible? How is that possible? Okay, that's a tough thing to go with. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Pablo, the Pablo Torre show did a big thing about this, right? That's, these are just tough things to do. What's my take on Wilt? You think he's left out of the GOAT conversation? Wilt Chamberlain's the most overrated player of all time. Wilt Chamberlain should be the greatest player of all time, but he um, was more, m supremely more concerned with individual stats than winning. Yeah. I've talked about this of all time. Tim Duncan's a top five player of all time. I don't think that's a hot take. I think that's absolutely fair. I don't care where you put Tim Duncan, as long as it's somewhere in your top 10 and right in front of Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Your thing is LeBron never stepped on your throat mentally? Well, yeah, he's, I think that's the biggest knock on LeBron is that he's a somewhat decent human and Michael Jordan's a psychopathic person who would honestly murder you if he thought it would was legal and would help his chance to win. Yeah. LeBron's not top five. You're not worth having a conversation with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh... Where do I put Larry Bird? Uh, Larry Bird's someone that I think has actually gotten uh, underrated as time's gone on. Uh, I think people have tend to underrate Larry Bird and Magic a little too much. Ooh, let's go. Oh my God, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think Larry still probably firmly in my top 10. And I still think Magic Johnson's, like Magic Johnson's the best point guard in the world and Steph Curry's also the best point guard in the world, just they're the best at different things. Yeah. I think Larry Bird's game would, would transfer like this is this era, Larry Bird's game would transfer pretty well into right now. Like this era today. Hmm. This is cool. Oh. Uh, Dennis Rodman, Dennis Rodman's a top 50 NBA player, all time. Um, yeah, Dennis Rodman's the greatest on the ball defender, the greatest rebounder of all time. Um, he was an integral part of, his team's always won. Rink Rodman is an NWO member. Uh, he was better than Horace Hogan. <laughs> But I mean, did Den I don't think Dennis Rodman ever won a match, didn't he? I don't think they. I don't. Did he ever actually win a match? Yeah, better than Stevie Ray. Nah. 
I mean, CV Ray was part of that, like, the really bad version of NWO, you know? <laughs> oh, that was cool. This is so good. This is so good. Is what's his face? Newer dude on the Mavs? As good as people say or just hype? Luka? Uh, Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic is the only player that's currently playing right now that has an actual realistic chance of hitting 40,000 points. Yeah. Luka Doncic might end up with being the second highest scorer of all time. So yeah, he's 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 the truth. <clears throat> I think I need to just hold back. Yeah. Um Dennis Rodman was just ahead of his time. With fashion and stuff, in a lot of ways, yeah. Oh. oh, he got me. Oh, this is cool. tonight maybe they can maybe the Bulls can salvage something out of this horrid season they've had oh I can get them from the top too uh, but yeah Jimmy Butler's out that's gonna be tough for the heat I supposed to do oh I don't think Luke is gonna I don't think Luke is gonna break LeBron's record but I think Luke is Luke is the only player in the league that has that has a chance of getting 40 and even then I don't think he'll get 40,000 I don't think he'll play long enough I agree. I don't. I don't think he'll get there. I'm just saying he has. A, he has a chance. Diana Taurasi. Diana Taurasi's still goaded though. Will Steph Curry's three record ever be broken? Yes. Oh yeah. Um. But that's just because the game will continue to evolve. And kids, there's fucking eighth graders shooting logos now. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like, I think the same way that I think women's basketball is going to have we're gonna see like over the next ten years we'll probably see like five or six players have like a Caitlin Clark level impact. What do I wanna do? Do I wanna land on the brick? Yeah, I think Steph Curry will I mean there's just gonna be more and more players coming in the to the league that are just gonna be specialists. And you gotta remember Steph Curry missed a lot of time early in his career you know what I mean those are valuable years when it comes to those like career stats oh 
Yeah. <clears throat> that was old Blippy. There's a new Blippy. God. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think we're getting into like uh the next like 10 to 15 years of basketball is going to be just the like the efficiency era. High, really high field goal percentages. Lots of possessions, lots of three-pointers. Oh, come on. That would make me feel powerful. Ten million dollars, though. Where's my sub? You owe, you owe, you owe me a commission on that. Uh, Campy. Hey, baby. I've already talked about rookie of the year. Wemby. Well, this all started because I was talking about how I feel like I feel like I feel like I'd rather invest my money into Victor Wembanyama rookie cards than just about anything in the world right now. Okay, I just needed to be on the wall. I just needed to be on the wall. Like, if you have money to invest, sure, you could buy a house, you could do that, but just, like, getting a Victor Webb and Yama rookie card, I feel like that might be it. I don't know. NBA players get injured? Uh, not like they used to. Or buy Beanie Babies? Cardboard, man. Your son has a signed Caitlin Clark record breaker card. Dude, go get that thing. Get that thing uh, graded. Uh, I'm getting that same vibe. I don't clown on people's. I don't clown on people's young people's takes. I'm definitely not an old head when it comes to sports. I'm not an old head. No. You're saying his rookie card is going to be better than Jordan's? That's what you heard? JT Money, how did you hear any of that, JT Money? What, what, how did, how does that what you heard? Explain that, JT Money. What, a, a better investment, yes. I'm saying yes, a card that's only, you know, three, $300 right now is a better investment than Michael Jordan's rookie cards that would cost you, you know, millions of dollars. Yes. JT money. You're you're it's a lot easier to find a Victor Wembanyama today than it is to find a Michael Jordan today. And also the chances of a Michael Jordan card going up are less than the chances of of that one. Yeah. Um as far as percentage wise. JT money. You don't have to explain yourself streamer. You don't have to because what you said was dumb. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, you don't have to because what you said was, was was dumb. And what you heard, you didn't hear anything. You you made something up in your own head. Respectfully. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see what's next. Yo, slide me on. Thank you for 17 months. <laughs> Small test of knowledge.
Wow, how did I die? How did I die? Oh boy, what did I hit? Is it, what is it saying I hit right there? Is it saying I hit the left spike? Is it saying that's a left spike hit? I don't know what in the Mario Maker that was. That was not the spike. I don't think I died on the spike. The barrel's death. Maybe that spike? Ah. Yeah, maybe it was the roof spike that was killing me. That was a lie. That one was a lie. I didn't realize the barrel could catch the spike. Yeah, I just didn't know that. There we go. Yay! I can't believe this is the first time I've ever seen the Donkey Kong Country Barrel in one of these games. Quadruple Castle. Okay, so now we're just taking everything we learned and we're putting it together. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I need to go the other way. This is a cool ass level. I'm just gonna say it right off the bat. Seems like the sort of thing Jump Team would do. I think it's the sort of thing every ROM hack does. I think it's the sort of thing every video game does. It takes the skills you learn. It's a very Mega Man move. Uh, yo, Martin Zero, thank you for 56 months. Oh, use the DK barrels? I'm surprised they hadn't yet. I'm surprised. That's what I'm. I'm just surprised this hasn't been done. Oh come on, climb up there. Uh, what do I think about Super Kaizo Ironmon? I think I need to start it. Yeah, I think I need to start it. I think that I think everyone's ready for some Kaizo Ironmon to come back. Um, I don't know if we'll be able. I don't know if Iron Mobs. I don't know if Twitch is like doing extensions anymore. So. Some people think Jump Team created video games. I think a lot of people... They adopt the... Oh, I know what I need to do there. Um, are going to adopt... You know, opinions of things they hear. Yeah. Your daughter wrote her name on a super valuable Pokemon card because she liked it. Which card? How valuable are we talking? 
Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen the new Lions uniforms. Yeah, I haven't seen them yet. Oh, come on. I'm just annoyed because I just bought a jersey with last season's uniforms on it. You thought I was a Lions fan? Uh, you know what I am? I'm a good fucking streamer. That's what I am. I spent my morning, instead of looking up things that I love, I spent my morning looking for things you all would love, okay? And that's why we're playing this ROM hack right now. You're fucking welcome. You're welcome, bitches. Everyone say thank you, especially if you're lurking. That's how I felt about the Jets new uniforms. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, really? You guys change your logo for that? Did I buy the Lions participation playoff limited? No, but dude, I, do I have a commemorative book about the 2023 Lions season? Do I maybe have a commemorative book about the 2023 Lions season? Did I maybe buy a commemorative book about my team just going to the NFC championship game? <laughs> is it sitting is it sitting downstairs right now on my coffee table <laughs> I I was kind of embarrassed it even existed yeah I was like, my mom got it for me for my birthday, actually, to be fair. Is this, um... Living La Vida Loca. Is this Living La Vida Loca? Right? Did, am I, did I hear that? Am I the only one that heard that? Upside, inside out. This is like a hot remix of Living La Vida Loca. Isn't Ricky Martin in jail? Did I just make that up? Oh, I just made that up. Shh. See, this is how rumors get started. I should, I gotta shut the fuck up. Let's go. Oh. Okay. All right. So we're hold. We have a. We're holding up, and we are bouncing the whole time. Damn it. He got divorced from his husband recently, though. Eh. You know what? You got to do what you got to do. You're only going to be rich and famous for so long, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, balls. There was some Lady Gaga in there. Yeah, we're not hearing things, right? No. You're a Yukon fan? I bet that's fun.
But yeah, all right. Anyway, going back to my Victor Wembenyama investment advice. <laughs> sure, his knees can blow out, but like, the stock market can go down. And he had three blocks a game this year. He's already the best defensive player in the league. I don't know, man. If he plays 15 years by some grace of God, it might be crazy. Yeah. That going back to what I was saying. <laughs> I'm not saying invest, I wouldn't say invest your life savings in Victor Wemimiyama basketball cards. It's the closest thing you'll get to a Black Lotus. Is this Undertale? Maybe. God fucking balls. What happens if you don't spin jump? I'm not even touching jump. Like, it doesn't matter. You you don't even need to touch jump. So, like, look, there's my hand. No jump. No jump or up, right? $300 is your life savings? I'm not even joking. <laughs> you might be. I mean, $300 is life savings. You probably need that right now, but. If it was an extra 300 that you were looking to invest, Spalding. For a long-term thing. And don't take financial advice from me. I just think it might be better than, like, Rivian. Oh, come on. You get all your financial advice from Twitch streamers? That's a good idea. Any NFL draft hot takes? Um, two of the four teams that are going to take quarterbacks are going to be disappointed. I don't think Drake May and J.J. McCarthy have it. Or I do think Jaden Daniels and Caleb Williams have it. And also, also, I, I just recently did a deep dive into Caleb Williams' throws. Uh, his stats. His pinpoint accuracy on balls is wild. And pinpoints, like, when you, you know, you put the ball in the best spot for a receiver to make more yards after the catch. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand the hype around JJ McCarthy either, honestly. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I mean, I, I guess he's a winner, sure, but yeah. A poo Kramer sell, sell, sell. Mm. Yeah, just do the opposite of that. Isn't there an ETF that just does the opposite of whatever Kramer does? I do think there's going to be some wild draft day round one trades like i think one team that's not in the top five is going to sneak in the top five to get one to get one of those quarterbacks god balls I mean, the Vikings are going to want to get someone to pair JJ with, right? Oh, come on. I don't think the Niners can afford Brandon Ayuk, can they? Oh. 
I don't know why this is so awkward, chat. This is so awkward. I screwed up. They can. They can always find a way to sign everyone. Mm, I mean, here's the thing. You can't sign a player that doesn't want to sign long-term or short-term deals. You know what I mean? Yeah, if every player is willing to take a one-year deal, that's probably true, but... Give me that Bezos fucking sub. Uh, Squiggles, thank you again. Uh, 3MC, thank you again. Uh, thank you, Shadow Gill. Again! Why is... I keep grabbing it. First time joining my stream, please do more SMO hide and seek. I did it two fucking days ago. Literally did it two days ago. Mm. Uh, these retired, pity on Aaron Donald. I mean, one of the greatest to ever do it. Let's go. The greatest? I don't know. Longevity counts, right? No grab, only dab, patty, dim a dab. There we go. I needed that. I needed a no grab, only dab. Okay. What am I doing here? Oh, I need to go. I need to down. Oh, this is wild. This is a cool, this is like a very pretty level. Is Michael Strahan as good as we remember or just good at marking himself? No, he's pretty fucking good. Yeah, he was pretty good. Listen, you're not gonna, listen, I'm not gonna say anything bad about another man with a gap tooth, okay? I need I need more I need more dudes with gap tooths in the media. They've been hating on us for too long, okay? I've been oppressed for too long on that aspect. <laughs> yeah, I can't listen, I can't handle that oppression, alright? <laughs> four days ago? No, it wasn't four days ago, it was Tuesday. So three days ago. Oh, man. Uh, did you watch the Champions League? I asked you at the start of the stream, and I answered you at the start of the stream. I have not gotten to watch any of I'm on West Coast America, so it's really hard to watch European stuff. I wake up for F1, but um, right now F1's been great for me because it's been coming on Saturday nights, you know? Although I don't, I think this China race is on at just a bad time for everybody. Whoa. Is there a secret under the swamp at the beginning? I don't know, let's find out. No, there's not, there's not. Uh, what the China race? That was I, if there was gonna be a secret, that would have been a good spot to put it. Oh man! No, jump, jump, you bastard! You're not waking up at 4 a.m. for the sprint? I feel like if there's ever a race for Lewis to do well, this is gonna be it. I gotta hold up quicker. I 
I'm not pressing up fast enough. Uh, what's going on, Epic DJ? There we go. Uh, this background is beautiful. Oh, we're in a bit of a boss fight here. Oh, we got a bit of a boss fight. Oh, fuck you, dude. Yeah, this background is like super pretty. on off switch how do I oh you know what I need to fight this guy just like this stop firing at me you son of a bitch yeah that's what I needed to do Okay. Oh, this is cool. This is a really, really, really cool boss fight. Uh, I'm doing wonderful today. Thank you for asking. Not exactly sure the best way to handle that yet. <laughs> I didn't forget to jump. Just didn't seem necessary. ROM hacks are awesome. They are. They are fucking awesome. I fucked up. Oh, I think I know the best way to do it. Actually, you know what? I, I think I got an idea. I think I got an idea there. For the barrels. I'm gonna throw the blocks up. I knew this game was gonna be a banger. Like, sweet dude makes bangers. That's bullshit. Yeah, that was ab absolutely fucking bullshit. Is that the last one? It looks like the last one. There's probably, there's probably like 10 more rooms though. Is this one of those levels that I was talking about where a bunch of people were trying to beat for Mar- No. No. That's all done. Ah. Okay, here we go. Oh, with the mustache? Yeah, he's he looks funny right now. Yeah, you can't make this cool shit in Mario Maker 1. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh yo, AC, what's going on? How's your day? I feel really dumb that I've been practicing the wrong track. Oh, that was bullshit. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel was sick? Wait, what's Fallout Brotherhood of Steel? The factions? 
Is that the, the RTS game? Mm, I don't like that one. That's the PS2 game? Oh, I never played that one. Yeah, I never played that one. It's like Tactics? Yeah, I didn't like Tactics. Tactics was not my favorite. I am a, I'm a Fallout 1 and 2 junkie slash apologist. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the Fallout. I mean, I, I felt like that show was so good. It was definitely getting a season 2. Like, when you make something really good, people are going to watch it. You know what I mean? Um, you've never played a Fallout? You know what, Chris? You're one of the rare people that I actually think might appreciate Fallout 1 and 2 still. Because you have an appreciation for old games in general. Like, the things, the things about it that make it tough to play now would not affect you the way they might affect others. Come on. Um, yeah, this is Super Mario World. Yeah, I like one and two so much. I'm, I mean, we've talked about it ad nauseum over the last week. How much I like, I mean, it's something I've talked about my love for Fallout 1 and 2 though like ever since I've ever since I've streamed like if you've watched my stream for a long time like I've never made it a secret my affinity for those games I don't know how I can like avoid it Oh shit Speedrunning arcade games? Elrock needs some competition, bro. You just started Fallout 1 for the first time? They're old games and they play like old games, but man, they're fucking good. Fallout 3 is overrated. Um, I think a little bit. I think New Vegas is properly rated. I think it's just like frustrating. I don't know, like I just that's what I consider Fallout, yeah. The first Fallout's hard? Oh god, it's really hard, honestly. The only thing, the only thing, the best thing I can tell you about the first Fallout is you really don't need charisma. When you're making your character, intelligence is much more important than charisma. Well, if you're worried about the gunplay, you're definitely not going to like Fallout 1 and 2. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely not gonna like one and two. I mean I, I think I think that's legitimately fair though. I mean I think there are just some games that like it's they can still be great games, but like genres have just passed them up a little bit. We done? Stand up! Let's make a difference. Stand up! Everybody stand up right now. Do I, I, I lie to me and tell me you're standing. Let's fight resistance. Violence won't fit. We've got to resist. Ugh. Protest and sit. Join hands to assist. Stand up. Let's fix the wrong and show our dong. <laughs> sorry, and make us strong. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, chat. Oh, I like.
like the credits going upwards. You actually stood up? Thank you. Hooded Edge. Poems. Shel Silverstein. Martin Luther King Jr. Wait, was that last one a Martin Luther King Jr. poem? Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. I'm getting cancelled. Oh my god, I'm getting cancelled right now. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I, I had it. I, oh God. Oh no. Is that everything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there was one in the middle. Yeah, eight. Oh no, it's an honest mistake. Yeah, that's what I, you know what? You know what? I, I do know that there's a few more words to I have a dream. Yeah. Man, that was a that's a that's a whole thing. <laughs> oh, so awkward. Anyway, anyway, we got more we got more stuff to, that we have to we get more stuff we have to beat. Whatever happened to Grand Pooh Bear? Us in three months, and <laughs> the clip goes viral. <laughs> I think that one's pretty funny. Yeah, I I think that one's gonna be pretty funny. I think I think I'll be okay, chat. For some reason, I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> uh, sweet dude. Banger. That was a banger hack, man. That, that one was a fucking banger hack. Very, very much enjoyed it. I, I know. It was just awkward. A bit of how streamers ruin their career in seconds. I like to think, listen, listen, if, listen, if there's one thing white guys love to do, it's like, it's say, I like to think that MLK would have supported us in this situation. <laughs> the credits were upward scrolling. I didn't realize. Exactly. Exactly. All right, all right, all right. We got jokes. We got jokes. <laughs> apology video. Yeah, I should just preemptively do the apology video. What are you doing in here, Cody? Hi, family. I'm so excited. Uh, Explorer, thank you for the five gift subs. Ooh, corn dog. Can you make sure that cooking? Oh, can I make sure that you didn't you didn't cook the corn dogs on the inside? Mm-hmm. Oh, cook. How you feeling, bug? No. Just no. You want you want me to hold you for a sec? You're going to mama's room? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my look at that nose. Look how red that nose is. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, you're hot. Okay. Whoa, a kid? I know. I know. My balls. Hey. So much bigger? He's bigger than me. Was I pregnant? Yeah, I got pregnant. I had a junior situation happen. Are you, are you looking at yourself? Looking at yourself? You're frozen? Okay, go with mama. Go with mama. Locked on target. Oh. 
I know. I know. He is. He's growing up. It goes quick. Shit goes fast, chat. Uh, I should have used him for the apology video. You're right. You're right. Shit. I had it too. You'd like to congratulate me on being the top viewed of the four poo poo streams on Twitch? Sig Wolf, thank you for 21 months. How I be, buddy? Oh, I be. Yeah. I still haven't finished this? No, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I feel like it's not even that hard, and I just suck at Jump King, dude. You know? Let's do this. Has, have any of y'all listened to Taylor's new album? Damn. I read a poem that got canceled? No, the poem was fine. Like, it would have been fine if it was Ronald Dahl that read that, wrote that poem. Okay, you're telling me you didn't stay up and read it or listen to the album? I know how big of a Taylor fan you are. You don't have to lie to me. Ronald Dahl is a famous poet. Wait, Roland, Ron, Roland Dahl? Ronald Dahl? Roland Dahl? What's his name? Rolad? Oh, yeah, it's my fault that his parents were ridiculous with naming. Rolled a doll? Rolled doll? It's a Norwegian name? <sighs> Fuck, I'm canceled in Norway! Sweden's better anyway. Cool, oh, Julie canceled in Norway. Does B like Blippy? No. Um, B doesn't get anything that's on YouTube though. Like he doesn't know what YouTube is yet. My son's a blue, a bluey, a bluey loyalist. Oh, they were canceling. They were going to cancel me. Yeah, but Blippi was a YouTube. It started off as like a YouTube channel. I think it, now it's on Netflix. last episode was elite I was actually a little annoyed that they didn't move hmm. 
Bluey's last episode was for the parents, so. Fuck me. Uh, no, I haven't played Snap since Balatro came out. We're taking a long hiatus. I don't think they're going to have... Yeah, I don't think we'll see Bluey for a long time. It's a Super Mario World... So usually we play Mario World mods. This is a Jump King mod of Mario World. Yeah. Balls. Wonder why Snap isn't on Switch? Microtransactions. Also, I wouldn't play it. I mean, I, I'd play Balatro on phone if Balatro was on phone. Yeah. Bluey's dad gets such a raw deal. Mmm. I mean, I think they, you know, the people backed out of their house, and then he just thought about it, you know? But yeah, I kind of agree. I thought that was, I didn't, I didn't really like that episode of Bluey too much. I didn't like it the way a lot of other people liked it. Uh, once Balatro's on my phone, I'm gonna have to get a, uh, some hemorrhoid cream or something because my, my time on the toilet is gonna be really high. Like, you start a Balatro game at the beginning of a poop, right? Like, you're not even out of round two before the poop's supposed to be over. You're just gonna be sitting there. Yeah. That's why you get hemorrhoids? Balatro's gonna cause hemorrhoids. Yeah, legs are falling asleep. You're gonna you're gonna try to stand up and fall over. Let me get Take shit off. everywhere. Very welcome. You're one of those. You're the. What do you do? What do you do when you poop? Flying spaghetti. What do you read? I mean, I have books in there. But like morning poops, that's her phone. Cause I gotta catch up on emails and other stuff. Yeah, do you just stare at the wall? You're just in there raw dog in it? You're just in there raw dog in it? I mean, I don't need something to read, but I mean, I'm sitting there just doing nothing with my day. What about, fl do you raw dog it on flights too? Just sitting there with you and your thoughts on an airplane? Watch other people's TVs with no headphones. Damn it. You've never flown? Ever? It's Jump King. Ever? What do you do while driving? Just look outside? Okay, well, driving and pooping are two different activities. Okay, I've got plenty of things to help my... Honestly, driving's amazing for ADHD. There's always a mirror I can check. Something I can look at. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have no problem with that. But pooping, just alone with your thoughts? Oh. Fuck, man. That's why my bidets are so popular. Bidets have nothing to do with people sitting length on the toilet. They're popular because they clean your ass more than toilet paper does. Let me ask you a question if you're, a, if you're an anti-bidet. If you got poop on your hand, would you just wipe it off with a piece of toilet paper? That's all, that's all. I don't even need, I don't think there's any other argument. No, come on. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know who you anti bidet monsters are. I don't even know what you're trying to prove. You don't shake hands with your ass? No, what you're saying though is that you're okay having poop on your butt. You're okay, you're okay with it. Yeah, that's what you're saying. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, is the only thing that's keeping parts of your body clean is that you might shake hands with it? You don't have a bidet, but you dampen a piece of toilet paper to wash thoroughly. It's cheaper and better. What? No, it's not. For, what? What? No. First of all, when you dampen toilet paper, it falls apart. That's this whole point. What are you talking about? Oh. Roman back with the backside of his left hand. Y'all are... Y'all are just, y'all have gross, nasty butts. That's all I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, what kind of toilet paper are you using that you can do that? Also, do you think when you have a bidet, like you never use toilet paper? Like you still wipe your butt dry, you know what I mean? And there's nothing, there's just nothing there. You know how much money I save on toilet paper every year? You know how much more you're going through than I am? Yeah, y'all are wild, man. Y'all are y'all are been y'all are bought and paid for by Big TP. I save a, I save a ton on toilet paper every year. Toilet paper is cheaper than a four hundred dollar device. Four hundred dollars, dude. Mine's top of the line. It costs one eighty. It lasts forever. No, it's not. Toilet paper is expensive. <laughs> Wet wipes are better than bidets? No! Give me here. Is it a cheap handheld bidet you fill in the sink? Brandon just asked you toilet paper costs money? <laughs> you would also argue you spend 30 years uh, 30 bucks a year on tp crimson wolf your entire year all your poops you only spend 30 dollars a year on tp you all your poops for a whole year Toilet paper. All right, we're just going to see how much toilet paper costs. Okay. A six pack of Quilted Northern at Safeway. First thing, we're just going to Google the first thing. Let's just do this. A six, six rolls of toilet paper are $9. So $30, you're going through, let's say, 20 rolls of toilet paper a year, and that's it? For your entire house?
20 rolls a year sounds right for two people? What? I think you guys, I, what I think is you guys have no concept of how much you're going through. I think you guys don't have any concept of how much toilet paper you're going through. Or you have dirty butts. Yeah, or you just have dirty butts. I think that might be the issue. Yeah. Single ply? Did you just say Scott single ply? You're gonna put single ply on your butt? What are we even doing now? Oh. Fuck. Yeah, I also like I just feel like y'all are just admitting to having gross ass butts. Oh. Yeah. Y'all y'all obviously don't know how to use the three seashells. You bunch it up and wipe like a loofah? Okay, you're not getting clean. I'm gonna tell you right now, you are not getting clean. Also, there's no way you're only using to me. You're not, I'm sorry, you're not. Oh. There's a lot of single people in here with nasty butts. <laughs> You wipe until there's nothing on the TP in your your with your loofah TP. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Listen, you can say I don't own a bidet, right? You can say that. You can be like that, right? You can say I'm scared of it. I've never used one of those things. But... But don't act like you got a clean ass. And don't act like... And don't act like it's okay to have nasty poop on your butt cheeks. Because it's your butt cheeks. If you got poop on your hands, you wash your hands. It makes sense to wash your ass. It makes a lot of sense. It's, 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 it's an insane thing. Take a shower every time. I'm, I'm way, I'm in a better, I, toilet, toilet paper is a uh, stopgap. It's not a solution. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did I get my bidet off Amazon? There's a bunch of bidets on Amazon, yeah. This conversation is reminding you that most Americans you've met have poopy buttholes. You don't know how you feel about that? Listen, I'm a late in life bidet adopter. Like, it's only been the last couple of years for me. And literally, literally the greatest, the greatest upgrade in my life besides LASIK surgery. I would compare its, I would compare its impact on my life to LASIK surgery. No, dude, I, you know what? I would say, I would say that there is a strong contingent of, of dudes out there that aren't cleaning their butts properly at all. Yeah. It's, it's LASIK for the ass. Yeah, the day's LASIK for the ass. 
<laughs> it's ass LASIK. A laser bidet? The Lufa TP? I'm so worried about this Lufa TP situation because I feel like that there's no way that's working. I also feel like that's horribly inefficient for the TP, right? A lot of terminally online people hate showers. Well, showers make me feel so much better. I'm tired, shower. Drunk, shower. Hungry, shower. Sweaty, shower. Yeah. People don't you reuse washcloths to wipe? What are, what are you talking about? What are you even talking about? There's also the shit shower, shit and shower. No, I mean, but shitting then showering is wonderful. That's that's a time where I'll accept TP only, because you're going right to the shower right afterwards. You shower two or three times a day because you don't play hot water in your apartment. Oh yeah, I'd get it. I'd be getting down too. Yeah, I'll just say this if you're if you're someone out there right and you're listening to this you don't have to admit this But if you normally have poop streaks on your on your toy on your your underwear and when I say normally I mean like Twice a year That means you you need to do more. Yeah, you need to do more. You're not you're not you're not cleaning enough back there Yeah Shower orange? What's shower orange? Like you eat an orange in the shower? You need to rethink what you're doing. Yeah, you need to clean up better. Nope, not going. I'm just an open beer in the shower. Yeah, I mean shower beers Definitely a thing you'll invent the laser bidet Did not shave your butt listen, I don't that's that's your own personal thing Weed tokes in the shower. I don't that'd be a little bit harder. don't remember this convo? What do you mean? I'm remembering, I'm literally marking down which one of y'all have dirty asses. Making a mental note right now. Sanding your butthole still a thing? I what? I missed out on that part of the internet. Yeah. Maybe one day showers will be able to handle poops. You know what? I'm not even I'm not even a shower peer, so 
You're alone on the, you're alone on that Forva with me. But what I am is stay in the shower and try to get in the toilet while I'm in the shower up here. Which objectively causes much more problems, but also is more impressive. Kobe, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta check, you gotta check your distance every once in a while, chat. That's why I said try. Listen, I would say I'm, I would say I'm shooting like 80 percent. No. You don't believe people who say they don't they don't pee in the shower are all liars? Um No, the first time I ever saw it, I was it was a girl and was dating this girl in college. Actually, you know what? There was a girl earlier who subbed who had a name very similar to hers. <laughs> She was the first person I ever ever heard about doing it. Like I don't know, it's just not something I ever, just not something I ever thought about. I don't know, it was just not something I ever thought about, and I was just like, what? Then she looked at me like I was stupid. So then I talked to everyone, and then everyone did decide I was stupid. But it's just not something that I've ever done. Yeah. You don't wait to do it. You're just not getting out if you already have to go. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not accusing you of anything. Okay, you don't have to defend yourself. You're real quick to defend yourself, Fool's Prime. Yeah, it's the duty, dirty booty epidemic. Why y'all talking about dirty butts lately? What do you mean talking about dirty butts lately? You're just making this up. I don't know. I don't know where else you were talking about it, but why y'all always talking about this? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when the last time this was talked about. YouTube, YouTube, where I stream, I stream twice in a year. Yo, you've been talking about this only thing. You have a three-year-old? Yeah. Setting the tone for the YouTube crowd. To be fair, I talk about bidets a lot. Maybe like once a month. Excuse me for caring about the asses of my community. Uh, you got a question. Uh, given what you know about your current life, you were given the opportunity to go back in time and stop your tragic accident from happening. Would you? That being the only thing to change, no lottery shenanigans or anything. I mean, could I still, would I have the knowledge, like, to start a stream? Dude, you know how much better of a streamer I'd be if I could go back 10 years? Do I get to keep any knowledge from now? Or do I go back to just that day and just like, I just make it down the mountain? I just stop the accident, then fade away. If I keep the knowledge I have now, yeah, I would stop the accident. But if I didn't, probably not, no. If I have the knowledge I have now, um, I would just not get hurt and start streaming. I would just not get hurt, but then still start streaming. 
And I'd be so much better at it because I was so much faster on my feet. Like I was so much more quick-witted back then. Uh, back then. I never stumbled on my words like I do now. And you know how revolutionary some of my content would feel as I did 2024 content in 2013? <laughs> I wouldn't split my audience with NoPixel or Huge Ass Pie. I'd be the biggest NoPixel streamer ever. Actually, you're probably, I probably would have just never started NoPixel. Seriously, though, I would have done tons of shit like that. I'd have been playing Iron Man in 2015. Yes, Tooman, you mentioned it four times. Would have taken the mixer deal? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? If I, I would have taken the mixer deal, and then the the recent sub drop would not have felt nearly as drastic. <laughs> I didn't make a joke. <laughs> I would have sat a few feet further away from Mitch at GDQ. I would have not interacted with one person in particular. I would have, um, let's see. I would have started playing Kaizo Mario earlier. Yeah, I would have just invested. Actually, I wouldn't have any of this. I would have just invested in Bitcoin. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what I would have just done. That would have been the thing. I guess I didn't have any money to invest back then, though. Good job, Juan. They said no lottery? That's not lottery, that's an investment. That's an investment. I would abandon you? No, I wouldn't abandon you. Um, I would definitely still, I mean, I would definitely, like, yeah, the only things I regret about streaming are not starting earlier, honestly. Like, not starting before my accident. That's the only big regret I have in streaming. Did I want to stream back then? Uh, so I got hurt in April. I was in the hospital basically till like uh, August-ish, you know, August, September-ish, in and out of the hospital more or less. And then I had like three, two months pretty bedridden, just couldn't really do much, lots of rehab, et cetera, et cetera. And then around November, I started, like, kind of, like, I was pretty normal, but, you know, just, like, couldn't walk, couldn't work yet or anything, you know what I mean? Like, um, I was starting to put weight back on, but all my buddies were, had to go back to work on the mountain, so I was just really lonely and bored. And another one of my friends was like, well, hey, if you're gonna be home all day, he was looking for a viewer, he was like, you wanna watch me play Halo on Twitch? And I was like, no, you suck at Halo, I've watched you play Halo. But I did, and then, like, eight hours later, I was in a Magic the Gathering tournament. Consuming content. My wife came home and I was like, I'm gonna do this. And then I 
And then I used my disability money that I was getting uh, because I couldn't work. I used my disability money to buy a PC and a capture card. Yep. So, there you go. Next time you vote against a social program chat, think about how much more, uh, if that social program didn't exist, I would never be streaming. And I've contributed way more to the fucking economy since then. So, <laughs> next time you get mad at someone doing something. Right? Do I have every, any interest in ever streaming? I mean, I watch Magic tournaments, but I don't play much Magic on stream. God. Uh, what formats do I I just do drafts now. I just do limited. Sealed deck and drafts, honestly. Like, even, even, I go to, I don't even have a collection anymore. I go, I do a draft, and then I give my cards away to whoever beats me. Or, if I win, I'll just give them to whoever I played last. I just like playing. Yeah. Thank fuck for you guys. Yeah, th you know what? Thank, thank you, California taxpayers. Um, but to be fair, you know what I mean? I feel like I've, I've paid it back. Actually, I paid into it to begin with. Actually, to rephrase that, I actually paid into my into it to begin with. You know what I mean? So it's not even like I was taking California taxpayer money. I was taking my own. You know. But yeah, that's how it happened. Thank fuck for you guys? Well, I mean, thank fucks for you guys that I get to do this for a living. <gasps> oh. Ho, ho, ho. Mm. Oh, I know. Oh, this is Jump King. This is it a truly inspiring disability story? I mean, I'm not disabled. Not disabled, fuck. I'm fine. Only in the brain? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got a little, like, the fever. When you have a fever that high, you get brain damage. There's nothing you can do about that. But I didn't get a lot. Figure a lack of legs would get me on some sort of disability list. Got a little brain damage as a treat. Just a little. builds character exactly now it what it does is it makes me say um sometimes 
And I'll lose my train of thought, like in the random, most random spots. I think that's the only thing it really ever did to me. I think it damaged the part of my brain that can sit for a long time. The only thing I'd say is like really different about me is I'm like, I'm a lot, I feel like I'm a lot calmer now, like in general, like I don't get, like small things don't bother me anymore. Um, I'm a lot slower, like as far as responding and like I need to think about what I say uh, more before, like I used to just be able to just like monologue off the top of the dome. And I'm a little bit worse at that now. I still can do it from time to time, but it's hard. Retro dude. Yeah, my butt's cleaner now. I could have been Post Malone. I know, I could have been writing lyrics. White I was song when I started bowling I was young. Dude, I'm so over this fucking level. Just need some face tats. He didn't have face tats at the start. He didn't have face tats for White Iverson. He got the face tats after he got big. And honestly, if I if I made if I had post Malone money, I might get a few. Like if I had post Malone money, I might get a face tat. Grant Bear from California, claim $420,069 for an alleged injury obtained while snowboarding. It's Receipts from his hospital stay include Forda Boys, Private Dance Service, and Magic the Gathering, Swimsuit Edition. He has gone on record claiming two dependents in his household, despite never proving their existence beyond occasional noises in the background of his stream, possibly obtained via Cameo. Vote no on Grant Bear this November. <laughs> Possibly obtained via cameo sent me, yeah. Oh, I'm not ashamed of my condition. I'm not ashamed of it. I just don't, what do I want to say? I, I don't need to, I'm great. You know, like I, I'm not, nothing's holding me back. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, nothing's holding me back. Like me, me dumb doesn't hold me back. Me dumb make you all like me more sometime. Fuck this fucking level. Dude, I just, I, I, I feel like I, this is all Jump King DLC. I just lose, start to lose my fucking mind. No, I'm not like, I don't know. My injury happened. Uh, going back though, yeah. The moral, going back to the original question, uh, if I knew how to stream and that I should do it, yes, I would definitely stop my injury now. But if I wouldn't have ever discovered streaming without it, so if I had to warp back and just like end the injury, but like I had all the knowledge I had then, I would not, no. How many more screens can be after that? It's this fucking screen that really drives me crazy. Oh, what's going on, Zek Jojo? It's this screen that fucking makes me lose my mind. No, I don't remember that.
You act like you're dumb, but seem super smart and quick-witted. Yeah, but I used to be quicker-witted, that's what I'm saying. I used to be much faster-witted. How do you play this? You go on, you go to Jump King, and then you just download it from the workshop. That's all. Did you see a video from back when I was faster witted? What do you mean? How, how would I get you a video? How would I do that, though? eventually figured it out yeah it's, old, old me would have been smart enough to figure out how to time travel me now family videos post my YouTube channel family videos what do you mean family videos family videos oh. fuck secretly FBI and CIA at the same time oh. yeah there's listen yeah before before like 2012 there's not videos of anyone doing anything all right Cottonhead, this game's boring. Oh, I got you. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. Mm, there you go. Now you don't have to watch. Oh. Fucking change the channel. He can watch. Oh, he can watch, but he can't comment about it. So that way. That way, maybe he'll be a positive patty. Now, everyone in chat go, this game fucking is awesome. And then we'll change his mind with positivity. Coolest game ever. That's what I'm saying. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm doing wonderful toxic. Lurkers, I need your help right now. Game cured polio. See? Game is mid. Streamer's awesome. Pfft. 10. 10 for you. 10 for you. You thought you thought you'd get away with it by kissing my butt? No. That's not how it works. 10 minutes for you. Games mid, streamers mid? Mm. <laughs> oh, you already got your 10. You already got your 10. Oh. Games mid, streamers mid! Streamers so mid! Can I tell you, can I tell you guys something? The people that watch streams of streamers or games that they don't enjoy.
I think are psychopaths. Like legitimate psychopathic behavior. Sociopath type of thing. Like why would you do that to yourself? That's like it's like that's like virtual cutting. To get your attention, it works. What do you mean to get your attention, it works? You have my, all you have to do is type in anything to get my attention. You literally just type in chat to get my attention. Okay. You, you realize though, that's how, that's how my toddler gets my attention. You're a toddler. I'm worried about you being a psychopath. I know. But why male models? About the lore? Mm. The lore. It's the lore. Sorry for being a psychopath. No! Fuck. Why so many dancing scissors? I don't know what that means. I want to play sis. tomorrow. We're playing. We're rolling a ball up a hill tomorrow, chat. Yeah. Happy bicycle day. It's Let's a go. Grand Pooh Bear is a top of the line streamer. Best of the best. Red Bull was barely a company before he came along. True. Perfect. Ten out of ten. Two. No notes. His stream is perfect. That's the true. The frames majestic. The gameplay absolutely impeccable. Impeccable. He truly exemplifies the beauty of the platform. His drip, incredible. His style, unbeatable. Unbeatable. His moves, unrepeatable. Unrepeatable. However, this game is mid kappa Fuck you. Dead Cells is really good. Ten. Fuck. The problem is I have to finish this chat. I don't have a choice. I have to fucking finish this game. I don't want to finish this either. I have no choice though. Aren't those dancing scissors on the seat? They're munchers. Balls. The credits must flow. Exactly. We need these credits. I need these credits. We need these credits. We need Zooter credits. The munchers do nothing. They push you. You have a completely different game to mock me for not beating? Instead of Sekiro? Uh, the Sekiro one's died. Yeah, I think that's died. I think that was being perpetuated by, uh, by Barb. Yeah, I think Barb gave up on it. Uh, but pretty much, pretty much if, if, uh... 
Yeah, if he mentions something, if he mentions something that's negative about me, I get to hear about it for like two weeks. Oh. It did. We should bring that back. Eh, should we? Is this the final section? They said this is the final level. Yeah. Fair, Barb got to hear that he was a dick for over a year. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he still gets that one. <laughs> yeah, that was back when I had all the power. You missed that button? Well, yeah, that's why I took it away. It's okay when I said it. The Zelda Doom mod. I'm so excited. Uh, T Bizzle. Thank you for the gift sub. Are we back over 3K? Are we back? Fuck. Dude, those Mario puzzles have been so good. Thank you, T-Bizzle. I really appreciate the love. Yeah, and then we just, you know, I'm just gonna have to come back again tomorrow. Your first time out ever? Whatever he was fantastic. Yeah, that one was so good. Don't worry. Timeouts are fine. Am I excited for the Knuckles series? Um, not really, no. But my son is excited for it, so... I guess like that part, I'm excited that he's excited. He likes the Sonic movies a lot. Uh, thank you, Moreno, for 41 months. Make sure your subs aren't accidentally canceled by Twitch. Uh, I think Twitch got rid of, like, Exola, so, so it was all the old subs. Yo, Axusus, thank you so much for five months. We're, like, 16 away now. Thank you for the five gift subs. Can you, everyone, type out five different gift sub bomb emotes? That's what happened to yours? Yeah, it happened to a lot of them. You know what? I'll accept that tumbling dice. I'm working late because I'm a singer. Thank you, Madman. Yeah, I'm, we're doing like an episode a night of Fallout. I'm so excited. Yo, Clint's friend, thank you for the fucking 10 gift subs.
Barb I'm did just so say excited. Barb did just say I'm his favorite streamer. When did he say that? Uh, I mean that's fair. He's mine. He's mine. Clint, you have excellent taste in friends. Tumbling Dick, thanks for the gift I'm sub. I'm so excited. Eric the Red, thanks for the gift sub. All right, stop at 99. Now we're edging. Now we're edging. Hello. I was so excited. I think this is a drizz. Uh, I like one a week. Personally, I like one a week, but I, was so I think there's benefits for both. Uh, with Quasin, thank you for 3,000. No more edging. When did my chat stop spamming marbles? Uh, around the time they started doing thanks for all the hard work. Now, when did that one die? Around the time I started GTA. We're just gonna do the same thing tomorrow. the Invictus track? This is from Invictus. <gasps> What's the command for socials? I think it's just socials. <sighs> yeah, that has a good shot of my new tattoo. It was funny because my wife this morning I was like I was like yeah it's a it's a tattoo of another woman are you jealous and she was like wait Samus is a woman she goes I thought it was a robot and I was like yeah check this out back in the 80s right you play in the game typing this from the hole I was just buried alive in it's rough but at least I've got you to watch anyways thanks for all the hard work I'm glad you got out of the hole. Um, oh no, you're still in the hole. Yeah, you're still in the hole. Uh, this is on Workshop, yeah. Um, it's called Super Jing World. She was like, I just thought it was a robot. And I was like, no, hon. This is another woman, and she's hot. You play the game, and then you're like, you're a kid, and you're like, you know, super misogynistic because it's the 80s, and you're eight. And you play the game, and then you realize, like, oh my god, I was playing as a girl the whole time, and then you run and brush your controller off because cooties. Ah! Yeah. Let's go. Is there a reason the mods take things so seriously in this chat? They all have chips on their shoulders and will ban you if they decide they don't like you. I'm on my 58th time out this month and they don't even care. Honestly, it just seems like it's personal. I'll say it one last time. I'm sorry about your water main, Ronnie. I didn't mean to bust through it with my shovel when trying to dig to the center of the earth. I almost made it, but you don't care about science. <laughs> you don't care about science. Uh, you don't care about science is, I kind of want that as the new meme. And we all made girls in EverQuest. <laughs> I didn't make a girl in EverQuest. I didn't play as a girl in EverQuest. Ah, wait, I take that back. I did have a girl that I played as his EverQuest. I take it back. I definitely had one character that was a lady who definitely had an EverQuest boyfriend. Super easy to find an EverQuest boyfriend. Really hard to find an EverQuest girlfriend. 
<laughs> um, I. It depends on like how much text it has. Like if it's like a kind of like a faceless, nameless person, like I'll definitely would rather have a play as a female character. But I feel like when it starts like, um, for me when I need like to make choices like Boulder's Gate style, I generally am gonna stick to man just because like I'm a dude and then I can kind of get in the role play a little bit better. I think you know what I mean. I think it's hard. I think I would. I think I would struggle more. Yeah. Work on my Riz game? I need my Lady Riz. Uh, the red circle on SNW bats' faces, is that their nose or their open mouth? Their beaks. Before you're like, bats don't have beaks. They're Nintendo bats. I only play as gnome or dwarves in fantasy RPG games. You just play as a lesbian who gives zero fucks. I think it's a pretty cop out as a straight man to play as a lesbian. It's two white chicks for me. They're like you got to you got to go full in. Yeah, you got to go full in. What's the reasoning behind, behind dwarves only? Uh, well, I, I would prefer gnome. I'd prefer to be a gnome over a dwarf, personally. Yeah. Uh, why do I play as those characters? Uh, because generally they only have one dong size in those games. And, um, a really smart move chat is, like, like, if you have a big plate and you put a hot dog on it, it doesn't look like that big of a hot dog. But if you put a hot dog on a really tiny plate, you know, like this one, right? It looks, the hot dog looks bigger. Yeah. It's that jump that's fucking driving me crazy. Specifically. What if you don't like hot dogs? Well, I wouldn't, this, none of that would apply to you, nor would my gnome be appealing to you. Yeah. How did you just use that for an example? Everyone knows the smaller the, smaller the potatoes makes the meat look bigger, okay? Dude, I don't get where I need to jump on that one. It, like it's like it's different every time. My huge dong. How did I just happen to have a hot dog on the plate? Um, do you not just keep visual props? Listen. Good streamers have visual props. <laughs> no, my wife brought me a corn dog a minute ago. I know, I know. Yeah, that's that's called dedication. That's why I make the medium bucks, okay? sort of knowledge I would use if I went back in time. Honestly, the thing I would just do is just like, 
play less video games if I went back in time. That's what I would do. Draken, thank you so much. <gasps> Hello! Take more shots, play less video games? I would, I would, I would venture out more. I accidentally just erased my save, which would have been drove me crazy. Fucking hate that room, dude. The rest of them I don't hate, but I hate that room. What would I transfer my video game skills onto? I don't think they transfer them well. I would just do more like you know, like I would have just like include more IRL stuff in my streams if I could do it over again. You know what I mean? Um Things like that. You know what I would have done? The two things I would have done differently, I just would have never played one game. I think that's what I would have never done. Um, playing just Mario or just GTA was very bad. Eventually, you just hate those games. How do you make that jump? How do you make that fucking jump? Why am I streaming this late? Oh, I usually always stream till five or six, yeah. You're a firm believer that people come for the game, save for the streamer? Uh, yeah. Um, but I have a problem. I have a problem getting people to take a chance on, like, new things for me. Yeah. Seems like I just play single game to that, just can't stop playing because the livelihood not, now depends on it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh. Dude. I don't know what I need to do here, but it's... I need to... Be done. Uh, no, I say you just go for Splunky 2. Um, Splunky 2 has everything Splunky 1 has, honestly. There are some... There are some things I like about Splunky 1 more, specifically, like, the music. Um, but, like, as far as, like, getting really good at Splunky 1, you're still gonna get your ass fucking eaten by Splunky 2. So you might as well just go and, like, get your ass eaten right away and then go back to Splunky 1 and just beat it real fast. Yeah. Have fun? Yeah. I, I am having fun. I am. We were played Where the Universe Breaks. Glitch Cat played it before. No. I don't know where that is.
It's so hard. I just want to be done with it. I do. I would really want to be done with this. Who do I think will beat Cody for the t He just got it. Uh, The Rock. Yeah, The Rock is... I think should be the next champion. Oh. Edge comes back and beats him. Nah, Edge is going to retire in AEW. When's the next race? The next 24 hour is May 18th, I want to say. But next Saturday, chat, actually, we are... Next Saturday, I have the footage for... Uh, we have full footage of... <sighs> what is this race called? Next Saturday, it's full footage of... Uh, the A2RL, the A2RL, it's Anton the Autonomous Racing League. So it's going to be self-driving cars racing. And they do this yearly. And I've got footage, we get the footage of it and we get to watch it next Saturday. Yes. I think it's 8 a.m. our time. I'm going to say it's 8 a.m. our time. Yes. Never heard of that before. It's a race in Abu Dhabi. At the uh, oh, it's at the F1 circuit they race it in Abu Dhabi. It's at the same same F1 circuit. Yeah. Uh, like the DARPA Grand Challenge. Yeah, it should be fun. Fuck. Let's go. This hole I'm buried in is running out of air, so I just wanted to say thanks for all the hard work one last time. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Yep, it is a Jump King mod. Fuck this. Fuck this. Oh. Look like those people on YouTube making Trackmania AIs. Same. Yeah, same shit. Same fucking thing right there. <sighs> I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind right here. Uh, I haven't seen the Lions uniforms because I've been streaming all day. And I don't want to, uh, I had to dedicate my stream today, you know, time to get the stream together, make sure everything goes well. So I haven't got to look at the uniforms yet. Oh. Arm wrestling tomorrow? You watch arm wrestling? <laughs> no, see I need, I, I don't, arm wrestling doesn't have enough flair for me. Like Ric Flair, yeah. There's not enough storyline in it. Uh, E-Gator, thank you so much. Why do people keep hiring J.J. Abrams? What do you just get hired for? Uh, J.J. Abrams is really good at starting things. J.J. Abrams makes a really good pilot. His visuals are on point. Yeah. It's 
So that's why that's why people hire JJ Abrams. Dude, that jump is pissing me off. Is that the right spot to even get to the end of this room? Yeah. I mean, we did we did finally progress to the next room, at least. Is it easier to get right there? I fucking hate that jump, dude. Yeah, it looks like you bonk yourself on the top muncher block by going left. You wanna bet, Fool's Prime? I'll bet you five subs you can't. I'll bet you five subs. Uh, next MMA stream, uh, last Friday of the month. So, next Friday? I think it's next Friday, yeah. Two, there was two lady fights on the card, too. They're gonna be brutal. Yeah. Not from down below like that? You see, you can't do it, Fool's Prime. You can't do it. <laughs> God, I hope you can't do it. What about that one? What am I doing wrong on that one? Show you improve it? What do you mean? What do you want? You From right here? You want me to knock from right there? Where do you want me to knock? I don't get what you want me to knock. Like right here? And then just jump into it? Right here. From right here? Where I'm at right now? Left now? You go like that. I thought you meant knock into this little dot up there. That little dot in like this dot right there. That's what I thought you meant. And you're talking about over that? I think it's kind of the same thing to be honest with you. I'll let you slide on the subs though since I misunderstood what you were saying. makes me feel better are you struggling on this Gwent tournament it doesn't make me feel better not easier I swear your sister's a pro fighter she hasn't won yet though I'm has she so lost excited. how many fights does she have no oh, now fool's prime you're making me look bad Thank you for the three. She had two decisions not go her way. Did you watch the fights? What did you think? Were they fair? Was that a fair decision? Dude, I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. I hate that jump so much. I hate it, 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 I hate it. Hi YouTube, are you anyone there YouTube? 
YouTube's all gone. I just want to get up there. Thanks, Agent. Or Classica, uh, I've played Wasteland. Yeah, I've played Wasteland 3. Uh, played Waste. Yeah, I've played Wasteland 1 and 2. There's 3, right? Yeah, I've played Wasteland, though. I, played the f I, play I remember the first one I played a deeply. The, sec the second one, I was so mad. Can I speedrun Spyro? No. Um, I don't like Spyro. No, uh, because it's a bad fucking game and I don't speedrun bad games. I liked Wasteland, but I, I the problem is like Wasteland's good, but Wasteland lacks like all the charm that Fallout has. Like Wasteland's a, a fine post-apocalyptic RPG. The gameplay is fine. Everything's fine, but it's just like it's devoid of personality, you know? Hmm. Yeah, the whole pit boy and vault and everything else like that that goes a long way. I speed ran Mario 2 though. Mario 2 is the best 2D Mario speed run. Japanese Mario 2 and American Mario 2 are the best the best Mario 2D Mario speedruns. Actually legitimately I think American Mario 2 is the best 2D Mario speedrun. It's like 20 minutes, got great glitches, um, no RNG, it's awesome. Cunt. Oh, I hate that jump. But yeah, I'd also say Lost Level is good. Who's my favorite Mario speedrunner? Uh, Grand Pooh Bear is my favorite Mario speedrunner. I think Mario Grand Pooh Bear's his skills are exceptional. His looks are top tier, uh, and he smells great. And you know what? He's the only speedrunner that goes out of his way to do live runs for. His, uh, his fans. Takes time out of his busy day to put on an entire project. And his charity work. I mean, amazing. You know what I mean? His charity work's top tier. My all-time favorite RPG is Fallout 2. Yeah. He's my favorite. He'd be great if it wasn't for his pig-kicking pass. It annoys me that it annoys me that that's not the worst thing people think about. You know what I mean? That should be that's the worst. Legitimately kicking that pig, that's the worst thing I've ever done in my eight years of stream. That's it. Kicking a virtual pig, yeah. Oh. 
Imagine shaking my dong to MLK's poem. Fuck. Yeah, that when I forced XQC to stream snipe. Don't, don't even, you what? No, don't even worry about it. I didn't kick a pig, I kicked a virtual pig. Feel the need to stomp at all times. I'm not. I'm not playing this game with you. He decided. It, he decided a virtual pig wasn't enough, and he wanted to go find out what the real thing felt like. Oh. Oh. How did I get my name? Um, it was a Wu-Tang name picker. Yeah, the first part was Wu-Tang name picker. The second part was best earthbound character. And the third part was... Animal that was both... Friendly and ragey. And then you get Grand Bear. What's Housie's Funhouse? I don't know what that is. What in the Canadian is that? My son likes being called Little Pooh Bear now. I think he's changed his screen name again. I wish I could just get up there. That's cute. You're damn straight it's cute. My son watched Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, he loves Winnie the Pooh, man. The itchy and scratchy game? I don't remember that being a bad game. I remember it being like a like a cheap lemmings knockoff. Okay. I hate Jump King. <laughs> oh. 
Like, why does that work? Why does that work sometimes and not? Like, I'm, I'm, I am jumping from the same exact spot in the sand, and sometimes it jumps perfectly, and other times it jumps assly, and I don't know why. You know? I just want to roll the ball up a hill. Was Simpson Bart Nightmare? That was a real game. I never... Outside of Bart versus the world, I don't think I ever beat any of those Simpsons games. Though. Like, I never beat Bart versus Space Mutants. Which was wildly popular. That's a game that I've played through one level of a million times, though. Son of a bitch. Did I try using the hook? God, I wish there was a hook in this. Have I ever beaten the arcade game? Yes, I have beaten the arcade game. Um, I brought like $35 worth of quarters to the, uh, to the bowling alley one time when my mom and dad had bowling league. I'm driving crazy. Eat silent scope without using the scope. That's cool. You can just see small pieces of soul, my soul die each time I fall in the second screen. Come on. Thank you for a horde of Dalmatians worth of subs. I appreciate you, friend. <laughs> give me, give me all those donation Dalmatian subs. Oh. We're already up to a hundred and one. A hundred feels like last week. Yeah. We're already there. Dude, I gotta be able to do this. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, dude. I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing the same thing in these fucking sand traps every time. It's like when I golf in a sand trap. God fucking shit.
I said, I swear to God. Is anyone else here for their parents' online activity? Uh, yes. I mean, how can you not fear for your parents' online activity? Parents, parent, the, the generation of don't believe everything you see on TV is the generation of believes everything they see on the internet. Yes, it's impossible not to worry about them. I caught my dad on true social. I said, I said, you need to delete that or get out of my house. Yeah. <laughs> He's, you know what? I, it's like, it's like he lives in a redneck town and it's like he slowly gets sucked in and then he comes and sees me and then I have to like, Get him out. Yeah, I have to like get him out. You know what I mean? What's going on, Rose? I know. Then I have to like get him out of it. You wonder what our generation will be worried about? Uh, retiring? Not working till we're 90? Yeah. I oh, screwed that. Don't worry about it. Affording a mortgage? Yeah, I don't think a lot of um, a lot of millennials are gonna get that. We're gonna be the broke generation. Do I D yeah I deprogram him? Yeah, I spend uh I spend um I gotta spend like four hours being like, no, that's not true, no, that's not real. Here I'll show you. Oh. My dad. Um, yeah, my dad was very concerned about emails, but he types with two fingers. <laughs> like this. Like this typing. Yeah, yeah. So I just kind of like, I kind of like knock it out. <laughs> when we were getting our, when we were, you know, getting our son the shot, um, he was like, 10,000 kids have died from the shot. I was like, where did you see that, Dad? He's like, the CDC website. I was like, bullshit, go and find it. I was like, go find it right now, right now. I was like, go find it, Dad, right now. You got to find it. An hour later, he called me. I was duped. I was duped. I was duped. Glad my dad admits it. Uh, he doesn't really have a choice. We have a we have a reality clause on seeing your grandkid. <laughs> That's the reality. You have to live in reality. Yeah, you're allowed to agree. You're allowed to disagree with me, but you can't make shit up. Yeah. You're totally allowed to disagree with me, but you can't make shit up. And if you make shit up, you're not allowed to see him. Because then I can't trust that you're not going to make shit up to them. 
Yeah. I mean, he was duped. It's an amazing thing. I know. Yeah. Um, in 2016, chat. I heard him say Benghazi like six times. And so I've stopped what I was doing and I was like, dad, what happened in Benghazi? And he said, well, Hillary Clinton got on a helicopter and, and, left, and left all the U.S. soldiers there instead of waiting for the helicopter. And I went, I was like, oh my God, bro. That's no, no. No, 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 no. And I, I just shook my head. And then I made him sit down and listen to what happened. And then explained the 12, 16 hours of hearings. You couldn't? It was exhausting. It was exhausting. So I think I think once I think like getting a base like getting a base of like that you know what I mean? Uh, no, Ziga. Getting a baseline of um, you're wrong and you're always wrong is pretty good, but it doesn't stop him. Like it doesn't stop him from being more wrong. Like he's not, you know what I mean? Like I can prove it. Like I could prove all that to him. Like he'll believe me after I prove something's wrong, but it doesn't like stop him from going back to that same spot for information. You know what I mean? Like that's the problem. Is that I'm fighting, I'm skating uphill, you know what I mean? It was uh, but he does like every once in a while he'll come out with something that's like super based. Like the other day, other day he was saying something, he's like, well, you know what the problem is? Nine people control all the wealth in our, our country. And I was like, I was like, you're right, Bernie. You're totally right. But then he's like, but then he's like, still gonna vote to lower their taxes though. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god. No, no, that was pretty much it. He just talked about how they suck. Yeah, that was it. That was it. It was funny. He said that and I was like, oh, welcome, comrade. And then he got a little upset. And then I was like, what, man? There's room for you. Couchella weekend two. Oh, did it start? Is it here? Is it happening? Fuck, man. Is it the same people as last week, G? Oh, shit. I got Couchella chat. I'm about to go party my ass off. We gotta watch all the ones we miss. driving me crazy. Fucking crazy right now. This is driving me fucking crazy.
What is Coachella? Uh, so they do streams of Coachella on YouTube, and they have all the artists, like their sets and everything on YouTube, you know what I mean? Uh, so me and my wife make a cocktail and um, sit on the couch and dance occasionally. Mostly sit on the couch. I play some Balatro maybe. And we call it Couchella. How oh, is there no checkpoint there? I know. Give me a give me a fucking checkpoint. Game. Yeah, and then we do Couchella. We also have uh Bed Honoru, which is watching Bonnaroo from the bed. Yeah. Best money I never spent on a ticket. It's great. Game design fail? And this is a mod, so. I can't finish Zooter though till I finish this. So I gotta finish this so I can finish Zooter. Woodstock, when we watch Woodstock in the hood, um, the, Woodstock's not a thing anymore. Woodstock hasn't happened since 99, although we have watched that Woodstock documentary. Um, it was on there. Do I have a child, or is that a dream you just had? What do you mean, do I have a child or is that a dream? Do they let me take care of a child? Yes. Yeah, weirdly they do. Wait, no, you went through the... Stockumentary. I'm not frustrated, I'm not mad, I'm not frustrated or mad Who are or you mad. My DMs on purpose? I, I only yes. asked because I was trying to help you beat this level hours ago. You have to hold, jump right and let go, jump up twice and jump up right and stop for a second. Jump left and then four right jumps Jump man has a very specific form of movement and I'm trying to teach it to you, but it doesn't seem to matter to you because you don't care about science. It's true. I don't care about science. 
I never thought you'd see the day. Jump King gets me tilted, man. Yeah. Uh, Jump King and eye racing. Uh, thanks, Bramigo. Doesn't care about science is a good insult. It is a good insult. Uh, I've spent more t more time, yeah, more than half of this on. Yeah, I got here at like five hours. It's been insane. And it's not only that, I mean, we're just not making any progress. You know? I'm like stuck on progress right now. <sighs> yeah, couch cello. Even possible. Yep, st live stream Coachella. We saw a new screen today. It was fun. Well, technically two if you count this one. I wish I could just get all the way up there. You know what I mean? I'm so excited. Thanks, dude. I'm sorry you can't get. Uh, 3k, let's go. Oh, wait, we were at 3k and then lost it again? Oh, we were edging. Drive for five, baby. Drive for five. nerd thank you for 29 months you're fucking amazing Why does that shoot me the fuck out sometimes? And other times I'm just walk. I just walk politely. And sometimes it just shoots me out. Like I'm a fucking butthole after diarrhea. Just like right into the, oh my God. Sorry. I apologize, chat. I have a little bit of rage. Your son gets that? I understand.
Sub for rage. Uh, thanks, to the dude. Think about me, no, but I know that it's so. Me espresso. Okay. I'm working late because I'm a streamer. It looks so cute. Wrapped around my finger. My hunts of humor Makes them last so often My honeybee Come and get this pollen to Sorry, 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 sorry Fuck that my hide and seek videos are awesome. I think there's one coming out tomorrow, maybe the next day. I'm not sure. I've lost it. Yeah, I think there's a hide and seek video tomorrow or the next day coming. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to have the second one out. <clears throat> yeah, he wants to be the first video out this time. Watch, you watched all the hide and seek videos in one day? Carpenter's in 25 minutes. Okay. Yeah, okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Uh, babe, I'm I'm working late because I'm a streamer. I know I really want to watch Tyler the Creator again. Yeah, who's gonna change their who's gonna change their surprise guess? What she's saying is I need to beat this the next few runs. She's saying I need to shower too. She was saying she was saying, Daddy, it's time for me and you time. That's what she was saying. Chat, I'm kind of in my girl pop era, and I don't know if it's just everybody's in their girl pop era. But like, I kind of love Sabrina Carpenter and Taylor and Olivia Rodrigo. Mm, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm just in that era. Even like, even like, like when I go to hip hop, I'm like, man, I'd rather like, Megan the Stallion's banging right now. Is that like girl math? 
Remember when, when, remember when people got mad at me about girl math? Will the next video have 10 people in it as well? Yeah. Get rid of that gamer sink. She calls us all daddy. What's the Veronica's? Fucking hate that part. I gotta beat this, Chuck. I gotta beat this fucking thing. I gotta beat this. I can't let this go one more day. Forever and everything I'm not? Yeah, I don't know them. I'm pretty much a hip hop kid, more or less, except for my recent girl pop obsession. Yeah. I'm like a I'm like a 19 year old girl. I just want to listen to Sabrina Carpenter, Olivia Rodrigo, and and Taylor Swift right now. Hi. That was your fault, chat. Say sorry. Olivia Rodrigo has some cool songs. I dude, I I just I hate that I enjoy her music. Cause like none of that applies to me at all. When I like as a 30s, it's somehow more awkward for me to enjoy Olivia Rodrigo's music now as a 39 year old man than it was for me to enjoy like gangster rap as a seven year old white kid in the suburbs you know what i mean like like uh, neither one of those apply to me at all neither one of those apply to me in any shape form or fashion but i almost said 36 late 30s totally relatable you know My street cred zero? Yeah. Negatives. I have negative street cred. Jump. I swear to God, I did that. Oh. Music's universal. It doesn't need to apply to you. Yeah, but like, I mean, I'm sitting there being like, I met a guy in the summer and I left him in the spring. He argued with me about everything. Like, it just doesn't, you know, it's like, he was so much fun, and he had such cool friends, and he'd take us to the party, and then I would... None of that, none of that hits me, man. You know what? I can at least say, I can at least say, as a suburban white kid from uh, right outside Detroit, I can at least say for the... the um, I at least relate to gangster rap in that I thought I was hard, even though I wasn't hard at all, you know what I mean? I definitely never thought I had teenage girl angst. Like, I've never had that, you know? <laughs> Think that they're singing about me? I definitely don't want that song to be about me. Yeah, you would cringe listening to that? Okay, well, sorry you don't have two ears connected to a heart. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Yeah. 
If, if, when you cringe, right, you're just worried. You're just you're worried about being embarrassed. You're worried about embarrassing yourself, right? That's that's what cringe is, right? You're just worried about embarrassing yourself. So that means the people around you judge you. Yeah, if you're worried about cringe, I think you just have bad friends. Isn't cringe secondhand embarrassment? Mm, no. Also, you can't get secondhand embarrassed about something that I'm not firsthand embarrassed about. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, if you, dude, if you don't, if you don't like any Taylor Swift at all, like you're telling me, you're telling me Blank Space is a bad song. I just know, I just know you don't have two ears connected to a heart. meet his mom just to tell her her son sucks so it doesn't it doesn't work it doesn't work it doesn't work you listen to blank space sung by I prevail though I swear to God, if this version sucks, if this version sucks right here, I per, I prevail. I prevail. Okay, blank space. Missed you, meet you, where you been? I could show you incredible things. Magic, yeah. madness, heaven, sin. Yeah. Saw you Not bad, there, actually. My God, look at that, that face. face. You, you look, look like my next mistake. Love the game, game. I wanna, wanna play. play. Hey, hey. No money, student tie. I can read you like a magazine. Ain't it funny? Rumors fly. And I know you heard about me. So hey, let's be friends. To yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, why would you? If, here's what I'm saying. If you're cringing about something that someone else enjoys, though, you're the cringe one, right? You you are the cringe one. I, I I gotta say that one was a banger. Yeah, that one was a banger. No, I, I'll admit that one was a banger. Yeah, that was that was a hot banger. That was that one was a good one. Um, if you're cringing about something that someone else enjoys, though, that's you. You're embarrassing. You're the one that should be embarrassed. Like you know what I mean? Like if you're getting embarrassed for someone else on something that they're enjoying, that just means you're a hater. And that you're thinking to yourself, I could never because I would be embarrassed. And that just thinks like, to me, that means you're a pussy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that means. Yeah, you're the problem. Yeah, you, if you think, if you're worried about being cringe or other people cringing, it's because you're a pussy. Yeah. They cover one of her songs on like every one of them. Yeah. It's you, hi, it's the problem, it's you. You're a pussy. You're worried about being cringe. Isn't that called narcissism? What? And lack of empathy? 
Shots fired, he's spitting facts. I know, like being like, being like, oh, you, you like that music? That's cringe? That just means you're telling yourself, I can't enjoy something. Despite everyone else enjoying it. Because of, like, what? You know? Like you, what's, like, you can't, like, girl pop? Because what? You're just preventing yourself from enjoying something you might love. Instead, when you see someone roller skating, don't be like, that's cringe. Be like, fuck, man. Roller skating looks fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think liking Nickelback is cringe. I just think they make bad fucking music. But I think like every every rock band that's like your lead singer sound like the us. Uh, they're not any good. Creed can take you higher. Yeah, that's just my general about any rock band like that, though. You know? Couldn't be me at their concerts rocking out, but I don't think people like at their concerts rocking out are like losers. I just think they probably... heard a limited amount of music in their life and they like things that they can they like songs they like songs you don't have to listen to more than four times to hear the lyrics you know to remember all the lyrics suck in the 80s yeah, yeah. If I didn't make it as a streamer would I go hard on the karaoke server before I was the so one of the things I hosted was live band karaoke, which was a, a, like a full live band, uh, like a six piece band and we did karaoke. So you would do karaoke behind the band and I was the host. So I like called people up, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of my job was making sure like if they didn't know the words or their stage presence was not good, a lot of my job was helping that out. Um, so I can actually tell you a lot about the do's and don'ts of karaoke and what karaoke songs are going to bang and what karaoke songs are not going to bang. Because really, everyone worries about their voice sucking at karaoke. But that's probably the thing that has nothing to do with anything. It, that's an impossible jump chat. What are the karaoke tips? Um, sing songs people know. All right, popular songs people know are very good. Anything in sync is gonna bang. Pretty much anything Bruno Mars is gonna bang. Um, the da David Bowie in the Midnight Hour bangs. Um, Fight for your right to party, auto banger. Um, any girl country song where they beat up like their car or like kill a man, all bang. Any guy country song doesn't bang. Not one of them. They all they all don't bang. But the girl country songs where they rough fuck up their car, like anything like that, bangs. Yeah. Um, I have friends in low places. Doesn't bang. Doesn't bang. I'm sorry. It just doesn't bang. It's not a it's not a karaoke banger. Midnight Hour, David Bowie. That's a karaoke banger. Now, the biggest mistake you're ever gonna get is singing Journey, all right, or any song that has a long instrumental portion, because you're gonna be like, oh, I know all the words to Journey, right? Yeah, oh yeah, I know that. Oh yeah, everybody knows that. Everybody will sing along, right? And they will. But then there's gonna come a part where you're sitting there. We're the guitar playing for like a minute and a half. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? No, I'm telling you, Guy Country does not bang at karaoke chat.
I'm sorry, gentlemen. I don't mean to ruin this for you, but it doesn't. Yeah, you need crowd. You need crowd work. Bon Jovi. Uh, sure. Um, Sweet Caroline. Sure. Like Sweet Caroline does fine. If you got an old crowd, an excessively white crowd. Um, sure. Yeah, or in Boston, yeah. The Rolling Stones country songs go pretty well if you count those. Listen, I'm telling you right now, you're up there with lights and everything. You guys don't see the crowd. They don't bang. They don't bang. There's a lot of songs that are good songs that don't bang in um, in uh, karaoke. You know, you know a song that does bang karaoke? A lot of Disney does bang. Uh, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is would be the exception to Man Country. Yeah, I'd say. But even like, even like a lot of them are not gonna bang at karaoke. Yeah. I want to go where the people are. Anything that kind of has like that, like where you kind of like talk for a minute, actually ends up working. Yeah. Africa by Toto actually doesn't bang on karaoke, weirdly. You think it would? Doesn't. Yeah, they're things and still don't bang, though. Uh, but the biggest thing, if you're going to sing a rap song, don't half know the words. You need to know every fucking word when you go up to karaoke a rap song. You can't half know the words. You can't be like, oh, I kind of know that. No, you need to know them. Oh, they'll tell me the lyrics. Yeah, I know it. They'll tell me the lyrics. No, you need to know them. Yeah. If you're gonna go do rap karaoke, that's like the amount of people I see come up like, oh, we got any Eminem? And I'm like, yes. Oh, let me sing Superman. And they think they'll be able to read it, read the words and then like put it into, you can't. If you don't know the words, you're not gonna be on beat. Yeah, they get away from you fast. And once you're off, once you're off, you miss two words in a rap song, you can't go, you can't do it again. Pony by Genuine always bangs, yes. Pony by Genuine bangs harder. Oh, you know what else bangs? Anytime a man does a power woman song, anytime, that bangs. Like, so any like cross gender karaoke is really gonna do you good. Yeah, mostly, mostly men though. It's good, that's gonna apply more to men than women. Women don't get the, the cause you know, like, they don't get the same credit. You know, patriarchy. Zombie? Oh, see, I think I don't think zombie kills karaoke. I think zombie brings down a karaoke room hard. Yeah. Yeah, I completely will disagree with you on zombie. I get absolutely, it's so... Uh, 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 uh. Any song like that, any power ballad, any like, um, it kills the mood. You need something faster. You need something that goes, try to keep it something under three minutes. Yeah, it's too much of a downer song. It's the same thing with, uh, I see people, they always want to sing the fucking Imagine Dragons, Radioactive. Ex Zombie and Radio Drag and Radioactive, the exact same issue in karaoke. They're just slow songs, and you're not as good as the singer to make them good. Yeah. You really want songs where the beat kind of just fucking carries you. Or they have so much call and response.
Black Hole Sun, horrible one. Red Hot Chili Peppers, give it away, great one. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication, bottom tier karaoke song. Bottom fucking tier. Uh, A Thousand Miles, top tier karaoke song, yeah. I would walk 500, that's actually a really good one. When I wake up, uh, you know, I'm gonna be on uh, 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 no, a up next to you. That one's, that one's actually really good. Yeah, that one's really good. Any Katy Perry song? Yeah, I'd say pretty much any Katy Perry song does work, actually. Besides maybe Roar. But like, I kissed a girl. I kissed a girl as a guy. Chat. I kissed a girl as a guy. That is, you are going to, that's going to bang. Sublime is hit or miss, and Sublime needs, you need to be good with Sublime. I, I suggest if you're going to do it, Santeria, but you need to be good. There's a lot of Sublime songs that suck at karaoke. Yeah. Lovin' is what I got. That one, that one, that one can, you can get away with that one. Um... Depending on who you are, if you're a big guy, you can do Tenacious D and really pull it off. Yeah. No, there's, okay, there's exceptions to every one of these rules. I'm saying, like, if you're just, you know, you're a banger singer, you're a great performer, you know the song really well, you know, it's your favorite fucking song, whatever, whatever. There's exceptions to the rules, right? I'm just saying, if you want people to, if you want to get off that stage and people to go, that was a fucking dope performance. There are some things that you can, you can um, do to kind of sway those to your meatloaf. What? How about Chumba Wumba? You know, I've never seen it. I've never seen it done. As an obese male, what fits best for you? What kind of what kind of obese we talking? Like offensive lineman. No, I've actually never seen a tub thumping, but I have seen a guy that we dubbed White Shaggy. I would say I would say this if 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 you don't think girls would dance to the song you shouldn't you shouldn't sing it at karaoke um queen uh, okay that's going to work that's going to work cuz everybody knows the song that one's gonna work because everybody knows the song, but yeah, I feel like you should be good. That one's gonna work though. It's raining men as a guy, banger. Yeah, banger. Any any karaoke song as a guy that's going to kind of poke fun at your own masculinity is gonna be a banger. I'm telling you that right now. I'm telling you right now. You're gonna walk off the stage and everyone's gonna be like, that was fucking awesome. Aerosmith, what Aerosmith song's good at karaoke? Name one. Name it. Name it. Cause I miss you, babe. No, that one fucking sucks. That's an ass karaoke song. Literally ass karaoke song. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying you need to get away from that karaoke song. Dude looks like a lady. Yeah, maybe maybe in 1999, 2024, not a big fan. <laughs> all those are ass karaoke songs, Chad. I'm telling you, they're all bad karaoke songs. Those are all bad karaoke songs. They're fine songs. They're not good for karaoke. 
Good, that good sing-along song does not make good karaoke. Those are, those are, those are crowd goes and gets a drink songs. Yeah. Walk this way. That's a Run DMC song. Coincidentally, Run DMC, three or four songs that can you do you can do with kid. Uh, Godzilla, Eminem, no, horrible karaoke song, horrible karaoke. In fact, in fact, with Eminem, I'm gonna say you're limited to Superman, which that one's a stretch. Lose yourself, or the Slim Shadies, or my band maybe. Rap God, Rap God's an ass karaoke song. I'm telling you, it's an ass, it's an ass karaoke song, and you can't rap Rap God. No, you can't rap it. You can't rap it, and it's an ass karaoke song. Yeah. Any Rihanna? Not any Rihanna, but I would say like sticks and stone they break my. But that one, that one's good karaoke. Uh, Umbrella, not good karaoke. You can wrap the fast part? No, you can't. I mean, you might you might be able to do it in your car. I'm not saying you can't wrap the fast part in your car. I'm saying going up on a karaoke stage? No, you can't. Yeah. Just a friend always bangs. Yeah, just a friend always bangs. You you got what I need. That one is a, that one's an easy easy man karaoke song right there. Yeah. No one, no one at karaoke is impressed by your ability to rap, rap other people's songs fast. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can do all the parts of gin and juice. Gin and Juice is, uh, you know, Gin and Juice is a decent one. I'd say, like, a lot of those Death Row albums are good. Um, but again, like, I mean, you need to you need to know the song with hip-hop. And you need to have stage presence. Now, chat, ignore what I'm saying if you just want to go do karaoke and have a good time. Everything I'm saying... If you're only worried about going and having a good time, like, ignore everything I'm saying, right? None of this applies. What I am saying right now is if you want to get off a karaoke stage and you want, a, you want a, a woman or man to come up and buy you a drink because they're like, wow, that was a hell of a performance, then you need to heed these words. That's what I'm saying. The Humpty Dance? Yeah, that can, that can work. Party started by Andrew WK. That one, that one works. That one works really good. Yeah. Any, you know what? Anything that mentions parties, honestly. Miley Cyrus's party in the USA works. Miley Cyrus's wrecking ball. You better be the best fucking singer that's ever existed in the history of the world. Don't try to sing wrecking ball unless you're a literal. You're literally Miley Cyrus. The dip by Freak Nasty wouldn't work. No, horrible karaoke song. You can't put your hand up on your hip when I dip you, dip you, dip. And it's the only thing they say in the song. And the rest of the song, the rapping's off beat, so you're going to be super off beat. And you're not going to sound as good as Freak Nasty. Turns out Miley can sing. Yeah, she can. She can fucking amazing singer. Yeah. Rage Against the Machine. Oh, actually, lots of Rage Against the Machine songs work. I, I would agree with that. Rage. Rage is a good one. I think there's a few Rage songs that you can that work at karaoke. And people don't do Rage at karaoke, honestly, a lot. Can you karaoke Sandstorm? What are you gonna be up there being like? Buh, 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 buh. 
Make a man out of you for Milan. There's a lot of Disney that works at karaoke because a lot of people know Disney, right? I want to be where the people are. Tequila has too too much. Tequila's too much instrumental unless you are very funny. Oh. Fuck! All right, I gotta do this. Um, chat tomorrow stream. Is going to come in a little bit later um, because I have spring fling with my son. Uh, it's like a dance, you know, at noon. Um, so I'm going to um, do that. Okay. I'm going to do that. Um, and then I'll be on at like 2 o'clock my time. So like 5 o'clock Eastern time. Um... And yeah. Oh, uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Yes, tomorrow we're going to push a ball up a hill, chat. Yeah, we're gonna push a ball up a hill. Mortal Kombat? I never heard anyone try that, but that might work. The thong song bangs every time. Very, oh, it's the same verse two times. Everyone knows it. People are going to shake their butt to it. That one actually works. After beating this, no, we're going to push the ball up the hill first, to, first, and then we'll go. Yeah. See, I feel like you guys are getting, you guys are getting it now. I feel like you guys are really understanding what I'm saying here. Um, YouTube, I love you. Um, thank you, YouTube chat. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.